Good morning, everyone. Happy, what are we today? Are we Tuesday? Oh, we're having a happy little Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, lads. Happy Tuesday. Good morning. Oh, I feel like I'm a little bit off center. We moved the desk over the weekend. Finally, finally, we moved my desk. So I'm a, I feel a little bit maybe off center, but it's probably all right. Yeah, it's Tuesday, Digits. It's Tuesday. How is everybody's uh, lovely long weekend? Did we have a lovely long weekend? And talking about lovely laws. Loss, thank you so much for 24 months. That's fucking two years. See, I can maths. I can do the maths. <laughs> two years. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for tier two, Loss. Thank you so, so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was a bank holiday Monday drunk. Did you not get the... <laughs> you, did you go into work? We went... Um, I was supposed to go into work yesterday. It was very nice. What did we get up to on our long weekend? Everybody except drunk. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Onionish. Good morning, Blood. Good morning, Sack. RH88. Good morning. Good morning, Father Axe Keeper. Good morning, Harmer. Good morning, Prode. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Digits. Good morning, Alan. Happy Tuesday, Alan. Happy Tuesday. I think I think I miss I think I miss one of you. Did I miss you fourth? I missed one of you. I know I did, because I already said hello to you, and I was like, oh, I won't say it again. But then I said hello to everybody else again, and I know I miss one of you. There she is. Look at that. Oh, just had the most delicious lunch. It's the same lunch I have every day, but it's very delicious. <laughs> it's very delicious. So delicious, I have to rub my face in happiness. Oh. Bye. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. Oh my goodness. And what part of Siberia are we at? We are... We've just given a man some legs. We've just given an automaton a new new set of legs. Had to honor... <laughs> the honor of doing my usual aid jobs. <laughs> Hello. Did you fart as well? Thank you for bringing that in. Really enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you. She came in here, farted, and then just... You could have done that outside of the room. You've just come in. Like, oh, mommy, but I wanted you to smell it. <laughs> right, so, okay, we already saw each other when you emptied the slop bucket. <laughs> it's Porridge Tuesdays for... I got... <laughs> Get crop dusted, I know, right? Mr. West, happy Mun Tuesday. Happy Mun Tuesday. Yeah, it's the Ava shirt. I think I might have been a bit optimistic about how like how cool I'm gonna be. I think I'm a little bit a little bit too warm. Not cool, like I obviously I'm a very cool person, you know. Very cool. But not yeah, I think I might be a little bit too hot. I did have a nice long weekend actually. I so I spent all of Saturday in bed. Which was lovely. Which was lovely. Um so I had I had all of the beans on Sunday, and uh, I did a little bit of um, a little bit of gardening, and it was quite nice. Drunk, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Don't you eat that? Sorry, no, no, you drunk. <laughs> As we were speaking, you were actually just about to eat something. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for giving us out of blood. Blood. Welcome back to the Wheaties. Thank you very much, drunk. Thank you. All the beans. The poops must have been flowing. You get one a week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Along with the porridge drunk, it's a it's a trade. They, Greg did help with the weeds. I pointed at them and he picked them. Yeah, I pointed, Greg picked them up, and then um he also made the holes and I put the I put a plant in. Mm-hmm. Heckle you from the street for my Ava jumper. Well, that too. That too. I, <laughs> I mean, I do regularly just go outside and get heckled. Um, <laughs> well, that might say more about, <laughs> more about my neighbors. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding, man. I hope my neighbors are listening. You're doing all right. You're doing all right. Did Greg use a dibbo? 
The dipper. What's the dipper? Greg did not put his dipper anywhere near any plants. Yeah, I found um I found some um reduced heather. <laughs> Only the best. Only the best for me. I found some heather that was really, really reduced, and I was like, well. It's great when you get plants like really like disgustingly cheap, I suppose. Um, you can just plant them and think, if it lives, it lives. If it dies, well, you know, I'm only out like 50p. <laughs> Obviously, I'd like them to, I'd like them to live. Oh, makes a hole to plant the seeds in? It's a gardening thing, a dibber? I do, we do not own a dibber, we own, own fingers. <laughs> Do fingers work as well as be, as a dipper? Yeah, so your fingers are for exactly. Just use a screwdriver. Nah. Use your fingers. You should smell your mum's fingers. And it means you get nice dirt under your nails as well. Yeah, I did uh, I did manage to break all of my nails as well. From, from dipping. From dipping. How many knuckles? Ah, oh, it depends how big the plant is, doesn't it? Depends how many how many knuckles the plant can take. <clears throat> I took it too far, didn't I? Took it too far. I was to play some Siberia. <laughs> Welcome back after the long weekend, everyone. The council tried to dig a hole. It broke their equipment. It's all rock there. Oh, dang. You'd have to get one of those. The, the What are they called? You know, like the pick pickaxes, I suppose. Smell your mum fingers. Yeah, exactly. Well, what other fingers are you? Well, you what other fingers are you using for is your dipper for? Hey, Lee, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Snello. Need a jackhammer to dig here. Do you have any? Do you have any? Grass. This is the <laughs> the symbol for grass. <laughs> right. Let's let let's a go, as our good friend Mario would say. A jack dibber. <laughs> or really, really strong smell your mum fingers. You just gotta train them. There's dirt on top of the rocks and grass in the dirt. Oh, that sucks though. There's all rock underneath. Do you uh, like? Have you got anything planted? Oh, reclaimed marshlands. I guess they filled it with rocks. I couldn't have filled it with dirt or anything nice, like you know, to have people's gardens. No, no. Let's just fill it with rocks. Fill it. It'd be funny when they see it. Be really funny when they try and do some gardening and they just can't. Oh dear. It's just a prank. Hey, good morning, Urban. Ooh. Urban, are you looking forward to it? How's the weather supposed to be for you as well? Does strong smell your mum fingers have a <laughs> strong fingers or a strong smell? Well, ideally both, if you've been training them enough. I got some thick rolls as my stream snack today. Um Oh, prone! She got a fortune cookie as well, I think. I just wanted, I wanted to have my fig roll prone. <laughs> this sound isn't grating, is it? I'm sure no one's no one's really angry about this sound of this man. <laughs> That's who's powering the stream right now. No fig, only fortune. <laughs> my favorite uh, TV TV program, Fig or Fortune. What's the weather supposed to be in London next week? I don't I don't look at the weather anymore. I just I like to be surprised. I like to be surprised. I can check for you. You will benefit from tonight's experience. Does that mean that this stream will be an experience? Oh for goodness sake. Or does that mean that like what are you doing tonight? What's your plans for tonight, Prone? Will I ever get my stream snack? It is certain. Quick, before I check the... Oh! Thick rope. Lovely. Yeah, let's have a look. Imagine if the weather's just shit. I'd feel really bad then.
Uh, oh, that's the sunny on Monday. That's the sunny Tuesday as well. I only got one. I only got the week coming up. I don't have another fortune cookie. Fucking torturous. Now I have to get up as well. Oh my goodness. What did I do to you guys? What did I do to you guys to make me get up, not land my fig roll, full fortune cookies? All right. Who's this for loss? I hope it's the, I hope it's loss will never be allowed to eat another fig roll. A friend is a present you give yourself. <laughs> Not gonna comment on what that's the, that's the... <laughs> Very doubtful. It's getting more doubtful that I'm gonna get my fucking snack. Mm. I run out of fortune cookies, only do a stream. Let me have my fig roll. Chad, I want to eat my fig roll! I give you all to myself presently. Because <laughs> we're a present, Chad. It's because we're a gift. We're a present. Chad, thank you so much. For 90 months, thank you so much for being, being a gift to the community. For an entire 90 months, thank you very, very much, Chad. Chad, how was your weekend? How's your Tuesday? I bet that would be a delicious fig roll. How long until Lost runs out of points? It is certain. It is look, it's certain. <laughs> a friend is a present someone else gives you? I suppose, but you you choose to be a friend to someone, right? Because they always say a friend, friends are the family you choose. So maybe it is a gift you give yourself, like you pick your friends, right? Sometimes you don't pick them. Sometimes they hang around like a bad smell, but... You can go all morning. You never get to see Siberia then. Oh! I kind of don't like that for the bathroom though, I'll be honest, Evan. Because that's not when... It, when you said my wife had a need, has a needle point hanging out, hanging in the bathroom that said... A friend is someone who reaches for. My brain then auto-corrected to something that they might be reaching for in the bathroom. Okay, for your hand, I'm right. All right, and then and then touches your. And my my brain started auto-completing again before I read your heart. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm out. I've I've eaten my fig roll now. We're good, lads. We're good. Friends of the family you happen to have encountered circumstantially. <laughs> wouldn't want people to touch you while you're in the bathroom. What if they were touching your heart, though? Only one fig roll. We'll, we'll probably get to the rest of them later on. Yeah, Urban, you got... You, it seems like you got good weather, at least for Monday, Tuesday. In London. What are you going to be doing first? You guys remember what we did in Siberia last? We gave a gentleman some legs. The, that gentleman is here. I didn't know if I wanted to go run over to him and say hello yet. I think he's in the in the train. We gave him some legs. Oh god. And now now he's driving a train. And we want to get on said train to go visit the little brother of the Dan, dead lady. I was gonna call you. And this is Dan. We yeah, hate Dan. Yeah. We hate Dan. Are you mad at Dan's me? a dickhead. I've just called this Mark is our boyfriend. Walmart. They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh. Yeah. Hate Dan. So when are you coming home? Never, I don't Dan. Know. I'm leaving There's you for a rich, I can do about it. The situation a rich is air. kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Just hang hey, in Dan. there, okay? Dan's a dickhead. The stakes are higher than I thought. And you know how much I love this job. And don't love you, Dan. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... No, I don't care, It is. I Dan. mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. 
You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Promise. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate. He's not going to sit back. <laughs> she hung up on him! Yeah, we don't like, we don't like Dan. Dan's a dickhead. Dan's like, he's always raining on our parade. He sees. Fuck Dan. Controlling yeah. weird. Yeah, he is. He is. He's controlling. He is. We're going to run away with the train conductor. We just gave him new legs. He can run now. We can run away together. It's just a train. Calm down, Dan. Dad's like, no. No trains for you. <laughs> Thank you, Chunk. Thank you very much. Oh, lost. I'm glad I had a snack. To be fair to Dan, you would be worried, but I don't think he's worried. He's worried about me coming home so that he can close a deal with the Goldbergs. I don't think he actually wants me to come home because he likes me, though. Yeah, so we just uh, we just gave some legs to that lad. So now he's the train conductor. And I want to go check the, check the church because there was a recent funeral. So we're here to buy a automaton factory uh we are representing we're a lawyer representing a toy an american toy company um and it turns out that the owner of said automaton factory has just died sag um but and that, so we didn't think that there was going to be any heir but it turns out her brother who everybody thought was dead is actually not dead he's in siberia well, I'm assuming here he's in Siberia. That's the last time I heard from him. Um, so I think we're going to get on that train, go to Siberia, be like, hello. I don't remember what his name Hans. I remember because he's got hands. Uh, hello, Hans. We would like to purchase the toy factory off of you. And we're going to do so like that. But I'm convinced that everybody here is immortal and are turning themselves into a tomtom. I'm convinced that there's something, something kind of sordid going on here. Jerry, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're not also not sure if Hans has, knows about his sister's death, so that might be a bit of a bit saggy to tell him. But you know, someone's got to do it. We are a lawyer, though. That's important to remember. We are just executing the law here. Yeah, because uh, so Hans decided to run away and his dad wasn't very happy about that so his dad faked hands his death um i don't know why i feel like i gotta do that every time um faked hands his death to avoid the shame of his son running away what resolution is this running at four by four by six four by three what would you do if superheroes were real? You were rescued by a superhero named Little Baby Justice. <laughs> An adult dressed as a baby, baby themed power, leading you to be teased. Would you accept the public humili humiliation of being rescued by some someone so silly or become the villain and take revenge on Little Baby Justice? I'd, I'd accept it. Little Baby Justice was just doing their job. That's everybody else's problem for teasing me. Sounds like a them problem. So you're only going to get a yes or a no, or a maybe. Yes! Loss, yes. I hate kids. But it's an adult dressed as a child. Which leads me to a lot more questions, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to ask them. I'm just, you know, just going to be thankful I got saved. Jazz hands. <laughs> he went to New Orleans. He's just cold hands because he's in Siberia. See, the church is open. I wanted to check everything before we left on the train. Is this going to be Dan again? Fuck off, Dan. Fuck off. Hello. Fuck okay, off. So what's new? Oh, it's not. We've I think this problem, is my boss. Mr. Marson. Marson. What problem? Come on, Kate. Don't beat around the bush. There's maybe an heir. What? Hans, Anna Varlberg's brother. Uh, looks like he's still alive. We can't buy the factory without his consent. What? What is this? Where's this mystery brother come from? And more to the point, where is he? What did the notary say? Siberia. Nothing. I mean, nothing else. You know, sir, 
It's an odd town here. Everything's odd. The people, things. I think they're all the situations. I think it's not uh, Professor Layton's situation. I have a small bit of research to do. Listen to me, Kate. Universal Toys is one of our biggest clients, and I don't care how weird that town is. All that matters is that you do not set foot back in New York before you tie oh, up I was going to say he's had a New York it's accent. He's like, yes, hey, I'm walking here. You can count on me. I... Darn it. God, everyone just hangs up on each other. Like, I never get it in movies where they, where they, you know, they call up somebody and they don't then spend five minutes trying to get the other person to hang up or trying to decide if you should hang up first. They're always so quick, you know, prompt the up and down of the phone. I think, I, th I don't think I'm playing any kind of uh, remake of Siberia or anything, um, anything wacky with it. I think this is the, this is, so this is the GOG version, but I'm pretty sure it's just the, the normal kind of original, original, uh, like visually Siberia release. Do I hang up first on the phone? Depends who with. I think I do. Outlook not so good. Well, the fool says I'm lying, but I think I do. I think I, it depends. It guess it depends who I'm talking to. Like um. I don't know. My so my granddad's one of those people that you'll be like, bye, granddad. I'll speak to you soon, and then he'll be like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Bruce Forsyth's on the TV tonight. I like you then have to listen to him talking about Bruce Forsyth for like 10 more minutes. And then you try and hang up again. You'd be like, I know I've had a lovely day here from you. Yeah. Yeah, you enjoy your program on Bruce Forsyth. Yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Bye. And he'd be like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I've got one more thing to say. Okay, Granddad. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta click the hang up button before he thinks of something else that he needs to tell you about. Yeah. I don't know. That sounds really sweet. Like, Badger, stay on the phone with the Granddad. It is, it is the most like it's the most inconsequential things that he thinks to talk about, and I know it's very nice. But, you know, he started forgetting a lot of things, so he'll he'll go round in circles that he'll start circling back to what you first talked about. So, oh, you know, you'll get to the get to the end of five other, like, five other topics, and he'll be like, oh, did you hear about that Bruce Forsyth program again? I'm like, yeah, I did just hear about it, Granite, from you. Yeah, you just you just told me about the program at Bruce Forsyth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it, would ju it just never ends. Just never ends. No, you hang up first. <laughs> no, no, I won't hang up. I won't hang up until I... Have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Bruce Forsyth? I... Hey, Pixels, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I can't go that way. I don't know. Is there a way to get in? Why would I be breaking into a crypt? Kate, that doesn't sound very legal. To open it. I do love my granddad. Just he's just uh, he's a bit he's a bit of a chatterbox. No, you hang. <laughs> no, you hang up, David. Yeah, I feel like he's a bit of a David. You know how David just loses it halfway through a sentence or like. I don't know, yeah, like talking to talking to my granddad is like kind of trying to hold a conversation with David Attenborough sometimes. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow. Used to play a good-natured game where they would see how many stories they could get their her grandma to say by saying sugar words and phrases. Yeah. Yeah, like you bring up one thing and they start telling the story and then see if you can get. I think um, so. I don't. So I. Look I don't. Like that works. I really don't mind listening to stories more than once. I don't. My mum does it as well. Um, 
I, she, you know, she tells the same stories over and over again. I don't, I don't mind. I'll happily sit there and listen to them because they seem so happy telling me those stories that, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like, Mum, I've heard this story about Bruce Forsyth before. And yeah, I, I really, in general, I really don't mind. But sometimes, sometimes, granted, when I've got things that I need to be doing, you know, you've called me at 7 a.m. in the morning. Granted, I do, I, I need to get on with my day. I'm so sorry, Granddad. Oh, the back's open. All right. I do need to get on with my day. And I, I Bruce Forsyth is not the most in, like thrilling of conversations. No point. It's locked. I haven't read any of the Sonic stories. Did I tell you about the time? Did you say? Did, I, did you hear about the time I spent twenty thousand poppies to keep Vader from having her snack? <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't actually. The most upsetting material for a golem to be made out of human flesh. Right? It's gotta be. Is there fuck all in here? There must be something in here. Right? Like just a big, like. Like, not even like human body parts. Like, you know, their legs are their legs. But like human, like, flesh. Teeth. No, I don't think teeth... I've never, you know, I've never been that creeped out by teeth. Oh. I mean, okay, good. <laughs> I'm just saying I wouldn't go into somebody's house and just start moving their crucifixes around to see if they had a hidden, uh, something hidden underneath. <laughs> good morning, Ghost Pepper. Ghost Pepper, did, did you hear about Bru the Bruce Forsyth? <laughs> the Bruce Forsyth program on TV tonight. Yeah, I've never been creeped out by teeth. I am, so, you know, I don't want to be mean if somebody's like, oh, yeah, I saved all of my kids' teeth. Because I know some people do, like, say, I think Greg's mom's actually saved all of his teeth. Like, that, that, that fallen out as a baby. But I, I, I am a little bit, I, I find it, I f I'm, I'm a little bit scared of it. I'll, I'll be honest. Like, just having a box of teeth d is unsettling to me. But I don't judge them because, you know, it's not like it's hurting anyone. You know, if, if, the, if teeth... If having a box of teeth makes someone happy, as long as they're not, like, t stolen teeth or, you know, that there's caveats to that. Um, there's, there's a lot of caveats to that. If saving your children's teeth makes you happy, that's okay. <laughs> Hey, Pumtong, good morning. We tried to save our dog's puppy teeth. Oh, did you get them? Oh, I bet they eat them. Do they just swallow them? Somehow that's less strange to me now, than Badger, kids' teeth. I don't know. I think it's something about being human. Me to be your grandfather. <laughs> I'm only 97 years old after all. You're spry, David. Barely into middle age, I still have all my own teeth as well I mean come on that's no fucking lie David let's no bloody lie you got anything else to say to me David are you done are you done in a, bo in a box under the bed with everyone else's <laughs> pixels thank you oh you could mix them up oh you could mix it oh you could all right, imagine this. Christmas Day. You have the whole farm round. You, you bring out the box of teeth. You pour everybody's teeth into the same box and you have to pick your own tooth out. You get a prize. Or maybe a prize if you identify whose tooth goes to whose. Like, you could have grandma's teeth in there as well. Like, everybody's teeth that... Yeah, dogs generally swallow them. How many bones have you purchased over the internet? None? None? How many bones have you purchased? Of? None. Uh, not, not, a, not a one. <laughs> yeah, like a dental potluck. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know the prize. Yeah, it's a tooth necklace is the prize. Um, not, yeah, no, I don't... I can't think of any... But
I no, I don't think I've ever purchased. How many but how many bows have you purchased, Ghost Pepper? Now you gotta say. Oh, you like the uh, live action Little Mermaid? So I've heard pretty good things about it. I still can't quite get over how Sebastian looks. That he he looks too crabby. Personally, no. My per partner's a spooky lady. Oh, got a whole ass horse leg bone structure from a coworker. Oh, that's kind of cool. Where did, where did where she put it? Where do you mount that? Like, is that like a bathroom? Next to the cross stitch that says friends are the ones that touch your hand but end up touching your heart. Next to that. And next to the teeth as well. Mount it from behind. I can't... I think we have the key. Oh, Tony, it's a... <gasps> a lamp! Oh! You know. You gotta steal it. And turn it into a lamp for her. If she hasn't turned it into a lamp. Has it across a windowsill above her apothecary? You gotta take it off. You gotta turn it into a lamp. Sebastian looks horrifying. Everything else I think looks okay. This Sebastian is just is very uncanny with his tiny little beady eyes. <laughs> tiny little beady eyes. Uh Anything else I can steal? I can't steal any priest robes. That's fair enough. But this one. Oh! We got nothing. Oh. Here, I'll take that. Is stealing from a priest illegal? I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter that he's a priest or not, right? Stealing from anyone's a bit illegal. Oh! Is that a thing? Maybe not. Maybe stealing from a priest is especially illegal, though. Nothing going on here. Oh, this thing's jammed. Take the key back? Have we got anything to lube it up with? Ink bottle. No. <laughs> you own most of this series, but haven't given it a try yet. Any tips? I think oh, if there's a mod that lets you move around with arrow keys, I'd recommend that because clicking on stuff is kind of a little bit frust like a little bit frustrating. Um, that might just be a me thing though, but yeah, you know, I think it's it's been a lot of fun. Um, some of the puzzles have been a little bit not obtuse, but a little bit like the leg puzzle didn't kind of make a lot of sense. Uh, there's a lot of reading as well. Who would win in battle? <laughs> A battle, Baby Justice or the Tooth Golem. <laughs> I think the Tooth Golem, because Baby Justice doesn't have any teeth, right? Got a red punch card, a green punch card, a blue punch card. Can we look at them? No. <laughs> Don't think we can. <laughs> no. Alright then. Ink bottle, cogwheel, train ticket, train release permit. So these are all the items that we've used already. guess that's everything. Good. Got some punch cards. I, mean, I don't know. I'm mighty sussy that we've missed something. I'll, I'll do I'll do a once more over of these. Nothing. Hmm. Might as well take one of these candles as we're here. Nothing. All right. Yeah, I don't think Siberia was uh, super difficult to get working or anything. Um, it was a uh, kind of just plug and play. Unable to shift things about? No, we can't. Oh, it'd be good if we could have a lovely rummage. <laughs> rummage through his underwear. Rummage through his priestly underwear. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a lot else to click on. Yeah, we couldn't pick up any of his clothes to do any cosplay. This is still locked. We've now lost our key as well. No point. It's locked. Yeah, we'll have to come back after we found some like some lube. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm surprised there wasn't any of the priest's personal effects, but <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, the golem could eat solid food, whereas um, presumably bit little baby justice couldn't. I mean, you just take a little baby justice to like some kind of like pizza restaurant. They can't eat that pizza. Golem can. Maybe we go in through the front. It's gonna be locked, isn't it? No point. It's locked. You win. I fucking knew it. So we could use the punch cards at the factory, but I'm really reluctant to walk all the way back to the factory. Who locks a church? So apparently people, like, apparently churches close at night. Apparently they're not always open. I thought they were. I thought you were supposed to be able to take refuge in a church at any time. But maybe that's a medieval rule rather than a modern one. Is the golem stealthy? Not with the chattering teeth. <laughs> Yeah, little baby justice can only consume soft food like soup. A sad reward for his heroism. I don't know, maybe he really likes soup. Imagine what his shit looks like. Very liquid. Uh, no, there's nothing. There's nothing here. I'm sure something will turn up, but we'll check this tomb one more time, and then we'll go back to the factory with our punch cards. Yeah, his teeth click together as it moves. Has it got a wind-up at the back as well? A church air and Airbnb would do great. I have a feeling that is one, is there not? Did I see... I'm pretty sure I watched a YouTube video where they stayed at a church overnight and it was supposed to be like a haunted church Airbnb where you, you know, you stay at the, stay at the haunted church. Can't go that way. It wasn't great, though, that I think they had to sleep in sleeping bags. I don't think it actually had beds. I also remember growing up, my parents really enjoyed watching uh, those, like, restoration programs where, um, like, uh, that people would buy an old church or something and they'd restore it into their home or whatever, or they'd buy a barn and you'd watch the costs of it soar and you'd, like, you'd fall, you know but add a bit of suspense of whether they're going to be able to afford it or not. Um, yeah, my parents really enjoyed watching those, and I'm pretty sure I watched a couple redo a church, and they had those massive, like, the stained glass windows, and it looked really nice. Oh, a couple born moved into a church, paranormal investigation. And I suppose they were like, oh, can you check for ghosts? I wonder, actually, we'll go check on that man. See, I'm convinced that some of the people living here are automatons. I'm a bit sussy of this guy. Hello again. Hello again. If you have five minutes to sit and talk, I could tell you a thing or two about the old days. I am sorry. I, I really am in a hurry. Ah, uh, it's a pity. Thank you, sir. You can pretend to talk to God. Or Satan, I suppose, depending on what kind of... Depending on if the coasts are nice or not. Sainsbury's in my hometown was built... Oh, half an old church. With an extension on the side. A really odd decision. As you know, I kind of like it when these big... Like, big companies take over old buildings. And I know that sounds really awful, but I like it when they keep the integrity of the old building. Like, you see... You see these big companies moving into, like, churches and stuff. And they managed to kind of keep it looking like it originally, or, you know, <laughs> originally did with all of the, uh, you know, the angel delight and the milk aisles. But, you know, they keep the structural integrity and I, I feel like they keep the, kind of keep the history alive in some way. Because otherwise these buildings would be either knocked down so that they could build a Sainsbury's on their site or kind of left derelict. If you're in such a hurry, why do you keep stopping by talking to me? I just know this old man's going to talk about that brute foresight program and I don't want to listen. Sonic and Shadow. I did see the memes in Discord. I did and I want to know where to buy that Sonic bumper sticker. 
I, what is it? I'm a good Christian. Don't talk to me about Shadow from Sonic the Hedgehog or something. I fucking love, I, I, oh, that was amazing. Mm. Mm. I don't need to use this console. Mm. Not yet. No, yeah. Thank God. I don't need to. Okay then. Maybe we could go and talk to the other guy and see whether he recognizes the punch cards. Yeah, I can imagine that, like, you know, all these old buildings weren't meant to be were meant to be accessible and, like, on it, like, in, in terms of accessibility for everyone to be able to access access that accessibility, um, but also in terms of, you know, how does Sainsbury's access them to deliver their milk? You know. Uh, sometimes elevators have to be put in. Yeah. And then I suppose if it's like a if it's a grade listed building as well, particularly in the UK, sometimes you're not allowed to put like elevators and like ramps and stuff in because it changes. What are they? I can't remember the exact rules on grade listing. You're not not allowed to like alter the historical integrity of a building or something. I can imagine that's quite a a pain to work around. Ah. Some people argue. Mm, do I want to go this way? Yeah, I'm gonna ask the man. I think it's this way. That the like the grade listing isn't very good in the UK because it sometimes puts people off restoring all these old buildings because it's so much more. Oh, piss! This one way. I was supposed to. Go. So much more expensive and uh, kind of it puts a lot of red tape in the way of doing it. But then it also makes sure that people don't just like turn them into Sainsbury's if that makes sense. So, kind of goes both ways I suppose. Run Kate, run! I wish she didn't, she, before she had, it's like my pet peeve about this game, before she walks up some stairs, she has to come to a grinding halt, look at the stairs intently, and then slowly meander up them. I like Shadow, I think he's the best hedgehog out of all of them. He's the one I'd always play in um, Mario vs. Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games, always played a Shadow. Mm hmm. Hmm, don't have anything to say. It's me again. O Hello, Kate Walker. Nope. Oscar, if you were in my shoes right now, what would you do? My reasoning mechanism does not permit me to manage problems outside the mandate of my own functioning. That was fucking useless. <laughs> Thank you. Don't think Oscar. No. Oh yeah, designed to look older, at least fit in with old surroundings. Haven't McDonald's had to do that in certain places? Oh, isn't there like, yeah, there's like a law in Japan where like certain chains have to look a certain way in certain areas to make them fit in with the kind of older surroundings. <gasps> Bread. <laughs> Bread. I don't need to do that. Do you, do you have all of your teeth from when you were a baby? Do you have a, do you, do you have a box of teeth? I don't know why that's what, that's the question that I've opened up with, but it is. No, you don't. Okay. Never mind. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna elaborate on that question. Just ask, just ask. No reanimation for you then, yeah. You're not getting to be part of the teeth, Gollum. They make you put a big maple leaf somewhere? That's cool. Right in between the golden arches, you can have maple leaves. Fun. I'm here. I couldn't tell where she was, she was hidden. 
Only the cool kids get to be part of part of the teeth golem. Fuck! I went the bloody. Go back up there, Kate. I think uh, I think I want to leave. I think there must be more to do with the church. Must be. What have I got these punch cards for? She said I can't use it at least not yet, which would suggest that I've maybe got one punch card missing. Something we haven't picked up somewhere. We do need some lube. I don't know where we'd find the lube. I could check a walkthrough. <laughs> this game's annoying because I'm pretty sure, yeah, it goes silent when I tab out and it pauses the game. You can tell if I look at a walkthrough. Hang on, let me have a peep. Let me have a little peep. Walk. There was something! I knew it! I fucking... I knew it! I knew... I knew it! Right, we're going back, lads. I knew it. It's not cheating if I already knew it. <laughs> Look, yeah, a walkthrough doesn't count if I already knew. direction is it? We gotta go back to the church and we've got to um you know I said that oh it looks like there's something behind the um behind the drawer there fucking what's something behind the drawer and we've gotta get it out you know it genius yeah it's just for confirmation exactly Exactly. It's like when you're in an exam, in an exam, and you do two plus two on the calculator just to make sure that you know it's four. Exactly the same as that. Around the back. <laughs> Definitely not like when you're in a test and you look up the answer. <laughs> Using the cheat sheet. Is anyone here a dirty a dirty cheater on like has anyone cheated on any tests at school? Oh, this thing's jammed. Not that one. I think it's the one up. Yeah, maybe. Oh, this thing's no, it's the middle one. Yes, yeah, see, 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 see. Oh, jeez. <coughs> to my successor, the Father Lavish Parish Church, the sanctity of confession is a sacred vow. So these revelations are the result of much soul-searching and reflection. One day in March 1938, Rudolf Vorlberg ignored my... Uh, knocked at my door. I was a young priest then, and I was overawed by the dominant personality of the town's most important figure. I remember it was raining that day, and beneath his dripping hair, Monsieur Vorlberg's face was the very expression of eternal pain itself. Sounds like you've got a bit of a crush. Through gritted teeth, his eyes swimming with grief, he announced that his son Hans had just died. He wanted me to come by immediately to bless the body. I entered the dra dark drawing room at the family home. Hans's coffin was set in the middle, sealed shut. Monsieur Vorlberg explained to me that he wanted no one to see the body of his son. Hans, his badly mangled corpse, had been discovered at the bottom of a precipice. It was presumed that he had slipped and fallen badly. Despite his 18 years of age, the young Vorlberg did not have all his faculties. I believed him. I led the funeral and officiated the mass and burial. We buried Hans Vorlberg with all the dignity and solemnity befitting such a tragedy. Life indeed hangs by a thread, and I would have surely forgotten this episode only. Several years later, after her father's death, Anna Vorlberg had an accident at the factory and nearly died. 
Such a close call with death seemed to awake in her a need to confess. What I heard that day would haunt my dreams thereafter. Hey, hey, hey! Confession is supposed to be, you're not supposed to tell. Is you're not, it's illegal to tell what you hear in a confession. You're not allowed, you're not allowed to do that. This is like, this is breaking rule number one of being a priest. She told me that the body of her younger brother, Hans, was not, oh, not at rest in the family tomb for the simple reason that he was still alive. I had blessed and sanctified an empty coffin. I had insist, assisted and sanctioned a masquerade staged by Rudolf Furberg himself to exercise the blind hatred he felt for his son. His son had left and he felt betrayed. A man who preferred to believe and make others believe his son was dead rather than accept the truth had, shame, had shamefully deceived me. What kind of priest was I and what kind of priest would I become? Our merciful father alone will be my judge. It is my duty to inform you that one of your flock is still unaccounted for. I leave this terrible secret in your hands to do what you will. Leon Bernard, priest. Hey Hippo, good morning. Good morning, good morning. So Chad, going back on who cheated in a test. Chad, casual look sideways in class test. I confess to being a dirty cheater on a spelling test in elementary school. Never cheated in test. Good drunk. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, that's not cheating, Pixels. That's not cheating if the professor tells you. That's all right. That's all right. I've I've never cheated. I mean, I cheated. I cheated once. <laughs> I cheated once in a a mock. It, or it wasn't even a mock, it was a... Because you, you remember remember I was failing physics. Um, I wasn't very good at that. I got, I got like A's and stuff in my mock tests. But it was like this in-class test conditioned... Uh, it was like a, a test. Um, and my friend slipped me some of their answers because they didn't want me to fail it. <laughs> they didn't want me to fail it, so that was nice. That's to take a degree back. <laughs> It wasn't even a real test. It wasn't a real test, I swear. Copied her work too. I just count. I just count. You know, sometimes you come in in the morning, they someone would tell you they'd done their homework, and you'd be like, fuck, what homework? You can copy my homework, but make it look a little bit different, right? Oh, it's fucked me over with homework. I was better with homework, bro. Better with homework. Take it at, take it at home and, like, just having all the time in the world to complete it. Tests I just shit myself during. Cheating on a mock exam is just mock cheating. Exactly. It doesn't count. <laughs> it was right at the beginning of the year before we'd learned anything. So um, I hadn't done physics at GCSE. I'd done like basic physics at GCSE, but like not. And it was the first test, one of the first tests that we had. And everybody seemed to know a great deal about physics. And I knew f fucking nothing. And... Um, the kind of class was infamous for kicking you off the course if you weren't doing well enough. Um, so my friend, like, <laughs> turned their exam paper around on me so I could see. <laughs> but I'm not very good at cheating. I'm not, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, so I, um, I, you know, I only, I only copied a, a few answers and tried to do the rest of myself, you know. And I, I got all the answers that I copied right and all the ones that I did myself wrong. But I, I did still, I did still pass them. Hey, Lobster, good morning. Of writing asses on my hands. How do they not see? How do they not see them? I know some people would sometimes write it on paper and put it inside their pen. Failing grade on a chemistry test, but the professor messed up my grade. Oh, <laughs> I lost. Subtracted 35 from 100 and got 85. Well, honestly, I'd just say that your, your chemistry professor failed rather than you failing. I can't believe this guy told, like, tattletailed a confession. That's like rule number one in preschool. You're not allowed to do that. He cheated in preschool. I'm too lazy to cheat on exams. Yeah, I never, never cheated in an actual, like, actual one. I, like, I just, I just couldn't, you know? 
I, I couldn't. I by my 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 guilty little conscience wouldn't be able to take it. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to. I had twenty eight missing assignments. My statistic class. Oh, I still passed with an A because I test well. Do you feel like you? Did you did you feel like you knew the material, Brad? Like, did you feel like you just didn't need the homework? Cheated on a physical fitness test by surgically replacing my muscles with <laughs> Cheated on a dentist test by just stealing somebody else's teeth. I'm presuming that goes into the go hair, right? No? The Vorlberg key, does it not go? I don't know where it's being inserted into, I suppose. Don't see a hole for it to go into. Maybe it's a uh, maybe it's the other one. I always did, you know, you guys know that I always did my homework because I thought it was going on my CV, so I, I never never missed any homework. Sometimes I cry because I forgot it at home. Because, like, I did not I did not miss homework. But I was such a little fucking nerd that I would cry if I left it at home because I didn't want, like, a detention or anything. I think I only ever got one detention. I don't remember what it was for. I am such a little nerd. All right, this is not where we're going. Yeah, it'll be on permanent record, exactly. Yeah, you didn't do your homework when you were nine. I li no, I genuinely thought. <gasps> to have my nose with me during? Oh, Rain Man. Sometimes we'd get one, like, you'd get one card of notes that you could take into your test. And everyone would write super tiny. in maybe via this let's have a look what's in here yeah oh i have i i have these i have i have some cogs what Meh. if that's going to work i think we i think we're missing a couple of cogs oh i got them in the right place though Throwing balls by yourself, worrying about homework. I was such a little, such a little bad. I was such a. Because I was really forgetful, so I would forget my homework. Like I just, I just leave it at home. Especially in math classes, I understood the materials for solving problems on tests was fine. Oh, bread, you're lucky. I get, I guess not, not lucky that you know, you kept. Not do your homework, but lucky that um, kind of the material came to you, if that makes sense. Oral bird key. Maybe it opens the house. I've forgotten to eat. I best take a snack to the toilet. Oh, I get hungry in there. Hey, piggy. Yes, this is the starting town. We are making our way through it. So we've got we've given the guy the legs. He's in the train, ready to go. And uh I think we've just gotta figure out the church puzzle. I don't know. I feel like the church puzzle is the last pu like last puzzle area. Lucky the teachers didn't wait the homework more. Yeah, that's true. That's true. What's well, such a I don't know. I don't know whether it was willingly or whether just because I lived in fear that my I was going to get turned down for jobs for not, you know, writing about the like how a cheese sandwich digests in the uh, for biology. Uh, it is so slow. Why is it so slow to walk upstairs? That's my like. <laughs> Makes me so angry. Oh, I wonder if it actually opens the maze. We had a maze that we had to open. I think it's down here. Yeah, this way. We'll try opening the front door first. Just walk up them with a bit more purpose. The 
door's locked. Right. Now we have to meander back down the stairs. Yeah. Instantly teleport would be nice. Especially because there's some locations that, like, like this, there's nothing on this screen. There's no, there's no purpose of this screen. It's just, you know, it's just there for flavor, which I don't mind the flavor. You know, the flavor's all right. But... Maybe get in here? The door's locked. Oh, That's... yeah, the art style is pretty creepy. You're right. You're right. I've, um... I've said to Greg, I'm, I would like our next Monday, Friday game to be a bit, I want like, I want something with nice bright colours, Greg. <laughs> oh, it's unlocked. Okay, cool. Right, maze, lads. Oh, that's a bit locked. What is this key no for? No point. It's... What's this, what's this key for? Dropsy? Isn't... Isn't dropsy a... Isn't dropsy a disease? Isn't that... A, isn't... Isn't that something that kids get? I just forgot about homework as soon as I left the classroom. <laughs> the door frame was a mind wipe. <laughs> oh, honestly, Brad, I wish... Sometimes I wish the door frame was a mind wipe for, mind wipe for me sometimes. Oh, it's a point and click. A clown. Oh, clown. Probably what the, na the game was made named after. So it is like a, it is a thing that kids get, right? I'm not imagining it. Ooh. And an ink bottle? You're imagining it. Idiots, you'd have me going crazy. <laughs> you just hear me click out and go onto the fucking room. I'm supposed to have all the cogs. Right. We have made a serious error of judgment. We are supposed to have more cogs than we have. Let me see where we find said cog. Am I supposed to have found these bloody cogs? We're supposed to have have two more cogs. I'm fucking somewhere. Pick up the two cogs that are lying on the table. Apparently there's more cogs back at the... Oh, I don't know. Are you allowed to show cogs on stream? Show cogs and vagine. <laughs> Send pics of cogs and vagine, please. <laughs> oh, really, lobster? Really? Did they add it like post humanously to the to the release, or did they make a new release? The song in the trailer rules as well. I do, I like, so I don't mind clowns. I do find them a little bit scary. Like, they are, like, but Pietro's my favorite um, Animal Crossing character. Such a cog cog. Honestly, like, if Kate was, you know, a bit, bit smarter, she could go into that factory, steal a couple of other cogs. We don't need these exact ones. Or we could perhaps make our own cogs, you know? Think outside the cog a little bit. Had a little study hall before it started. My teacher was the only reason I did my homework in that class. She would remind me during study hall. What a good teacher, though. I swear, some teachers would be just like, Fuck you! <laughs> You've forgotten your homework. You've forgotten it. Yeah, no 3D prints down. some ho hogs. <laughs> some cogs. What did I see recently that could be 3D printed? Do you guys have 3D printers? Are they, are they popular? I, I, I keep saying, like, oh, <laughs> milady. I see a lot of content creators that are like, oh, yeah, I'll just wham it up in my 3D printer. Like, 
Everybody just have 3D printers now? I would like to have a 3D printer. I can't get a 3D printer. It would, that would never stop. In cogs, bloody. Right, we got the cogs, lads. Are they still as expensive as they were? My sister has a 3D printer. They, I, I still imagine them as super expensive. Are they super expensive? When they can print motivation. I mean, it, I suppose, you know, the word. They can print the word out for you. And does she use it a lot? Not that I'm like, what would I make a 3D printer? What would I, what, whatever would I use a 3D printer for? Heard joke once. Man goes to doctor. Says he's depressed. Says life mm -hmm. seems harsh and cruel. Says he feels all alone in a threatening world where what lies ahead is vague and uncertain. Doctor says, treatment is simple. Great clown Payachi is in town tonight. Go and see him. That should pick you up. Man bursts into tears. Says, but doctor, I am Payachi. Good joke. Everybody <sighs> laugh. Roll on snare drum. Curtains. Lost, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I would make a hundred anime figurines. I mean... I, I mean, you're not... Uh, you're, oh, fuck, I went the wrong way. I, went, I ended up at a house instead of a church. You... I suppose that's what I would use it for. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose that's what I would be printing out my own weed figurines. Yeah, that, that is what I'd use it for if I if I was to get a. That's the only usage I can think of in my real life. Maybe like a. Ah, oh, the problem is that you don't think you've got to use, but then you keep finding ways to justify the purchase, and it doesn't end. I mean, now now you've got me talking. I did see these like this person three D printed these pill poppers. And I've got, I have a real problem with getting pills out of the, um, like, out of the, out of these things. I can never fucking get them out. Like, what kind of bloody glue do they use? I, I don't know how they expect a 76-year-old woman to get pills out of these things. Like, I can't pop them from the back, so I end up trying to pop them from the front with my nails. And I don't like popping them from the back either. I like to pop them from the front because I like the back to still be smooth. Um, but that's my own, like, I, I realise that that's my own, like, thing. Um, I have to get the whole sentence together before you start. I can't just say problem with pills. <laughs> You're right. I've got a problem with the packaging that pills come in. Yeah, they're a pay on me! And they don't even get me started on fucking child locks on pill models. I understand why they're there, but they're not child. They're not just locks for children. They also lock me out of my pill bottles. <laughs> I don't have any kids! I don't need them on my pill bottles! <laughs> Can't ever get them fucking open. I feel like I'm Winnie the Pooh trying to get into a honey pot, and I just I can't can't get this. <laughs> Most pharmacies have non-child lock bottles you can request. <gasps> oh, I might start doing that. I didn't realize I could ask. I thought they'd just laugh at me. <gasps> can we put them backwards for easy access? I don't know if we can put them on backwards. Like being part of a mod community for a game like Skyrim, you'd always be browsing new cool ideas and finding new things to try. I wonder how much the is it filament? Like how much how much the fit? Oh my god, it'd be so much to learn as well, though, wouldn't it? It'd be so much to learn. <laughs> yeah. Oh bother! I can't get my tablets. <laughs> I've asked Greg to get my tablets out for me. Yeah, I just, look, I just want my pills in, like, a, in a Tupperware container. I mean, the Tupperware that's not too stiff, because I do struggle with Tupperware as well. I just want, I want my pills in a bag, <laughs> in a paper bag, so I can just put my hat, like, pick a mix. I can put my hand in, I take my pills out, and I fold it back over the top. You know, like, <laughs> I can't get into these pill popping things. I can't get into the, I can't get into the child lock pill jars. 
I just want my pills in a Harry Bow bag, please. Yeah. In a feed bag. <laughs> no, I really hate it. I hate it when they flavor medicine. I hate it. Because it's always this horrible, like, it always just tastes like the medicine with this horrible, like, artificial strawberry over. Like, I remember the, uh, the colonoscopy medication. It tastes like colonoscopy medication with mango. And it, like, like, it's just, it was worse. Yeah. Doesn't it take ages to get anything printed? Sometimes the printer messes up. Yeah. I think you can, um, reuse. I don't know. The internet has led me to believe, because I keep getting suggested these 3D printing videos. I, the internet has led me to believe that you can reuse the filament that if, if something goes wrong, you can reuse it. I mean, as the UK. I mean, you remember that thrush lady, Rain Man? <laughs> no, I, I will never drink Fruit Punch Fanta ever again, because that's exactly what it tasted like. 20 to 25 quid per kilogram. I don't know about reusing filament. I might have been lied to. Isn't being an influencer enough reason to... <laughs> oh, wow, it's a lift. I should see whether any 3D printer companies want to sponsor me. <laughs> Could hook it up to stream and have you guys, like, like feed it stuff to print. I'd just be loads of dicks, wouldn't it? Creepy. Cre I can tell this is a man with a hat on it. Very creepy. Oh, look, loads of body parts. This game is certainly, like, a little bit spooky. Birds. It's nice. Got another cross up here. Presuming this is the clock? Question mark? You'd end up printing Sonics. I mean, I'd be alright with that. I'd be okay with that. Another Sonic. I hate having to pop them all out. Yeah, put them in the daily boxes. I hate it too. I've got that. I've got a daily box, and that thing is empty at the moment because I, 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 I need to like get myself ready. I need to like. <laughs> it's gonna take me like twenty minutes to sit there and pop them all out. It's been empty for like, I've got no like three weeks or something, I, I sit there and I've got to get myself ready to pop them in the, the box. Sometimes I've thought about popping more than one weeks at once. So I could like, yeah. But then I won't remember if I've taken the pill because the pill won't be missing from the box. Yeah, they would print really slow. Oh, that would be kind of fun. You guys could, like, we could have, like, 3D print cam. You guys could just watch it 3D print. Aye, Bretzy, we've helped you. Very helpful stream today. Print cam does sound fun. I bet it'd be fucking loud as well, all you'd hear is... I'll see what I'm meant to be clicking on up here. Like, I've done so much work to get up here, but there's... Fucking nothing. Is there like you want me to use the key somewhere? What am I what am I doing in here? Oh the cogs. Elevator to take you up to the belfry. You'll see an automaton there with a slot on his back. A slot on his back? Oh I see a slot on his back. It won't let me look at said slot, though. Maybe I... I... Do I have to wingle-wangle the angle? No, not there. Oh yeah, resin scares me a little bit. Can I is have you got a slot? Oh you've got a slot. Everybody's got a slot. You want this one? By green? Oh, what a jam. I 
that's a lot of bells. Alright, that one did nothing. What we got next? Purple. Oh! Purple one they wanted. Oh. Hey, C. Badger. This is the three printing department. We've just had a 117 three printing request and we wanted to check that they aren't fragilent. They're from an employee called Suzu. Fragile. All say please makes treats and sends to me. Just need your sign off, madam. Please send me more treats. Please. Please 3D print me more treats. Thank you, thanks. Oh, milady. I no longer need these punch cards. Oh, I was kind of hoping... Oh, okay, we just fucking threw them away. I wanted to listen to all the songs that he could play. I've seen some really cool resin um, coasters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love seeing all of the models. I never knew that we had, like, um... I never knew that model painting was so popular, I guess. I didn't, I didn't expect to have, like, um, lots of model painters. But I, I fucking love looking at them. I lo like just the like the details are so small. They're so small, but they've got so much detail on them. How does she know she doesn't need them? It's a bit of a spoiler, eh? Hate spoiling the spoiling our own game. Oh great, oh, okay, we're going st Joe. Does that say Joe? That looks like it says Joe. I don't think it actually does say Joe. See it? I think you guys can see it a bit bigger than I can. It does look like an oblivion. Oh, great. Dead people. Hello. Oh, it's just that, okay. It's gonna say Joe gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, let's just say that it says Joe. Are we actually gonna open? No, that's illegal. This is illegal. We're not allowed to just do this. This still are they not locked? Do people not lock these? These should be locked. They're just open for anyone to fucking open. I know Hans isn't dead. I know he's not. But you can't just do that. There was a lock on the outside, but like, mountain fall kills local figure. The Vorlberg family was struck by tragedy yesterday. Ruf Ruf <laughs> Rudolf Vorlberg discovered the lifeless body of his son Hans at the bottom of a precipice. Loose rocks and poor visibility occasioned by the morning mist were probably the cause of the young man's fall. This is the theory put forward by the family, as there is no other witnesses, or then there were no witnesses. Hans had just turned 18 years of age. Eight years ago, he suffered a similar serious accident from which he never fully recovered the full use of his mental facilities. Despite living almost as a recluse, he was still a well-known figure, as the future of Vorenberg manufacturing lay in his hands. We at the Vadladeline Gazette wish to extend our deepest sympathy to his family and express our sincere condolences to Rudolf Vorenberg and his daughter Anna, who today becomes the sole inheritor of the automation factory. Right, put that put that fucking back in. Is there anything else? Oh, I don't know why. I just feel like as soon as we leave, something's gonna go. Bleh. Can I look at Anna's? Or... Can I push this back in? Can we close it? <laughs> no, we're just gonna leave this fucking open. <laughs> we're just we're just gonna leave it. All right, we're just leaving it, lads. We're just leaving it, okay. Why lock them? I don't know, just like... Do they- are they actually not locked? I don't know, someone might do it, might they? She probably litters too. Yeah, she doesn't- she can close it, Kate! It's- the responsibility of the resident to lock their crypt <laughs> Like, there's public ones as well, isn't there? Like, you can go and... I just... Didn't realise. 
So they were just sitting in there, just dead people, just chilling in unlocked boxes. You know, I should. F I feel like because it's a family crypt, right? They're owned by rich people, right? Poor people have to have dirt put on top of them to make sure that they don't get out of their box. I think rich people should have to lock their drawer to make sure they don't get out as well. Video games reflect. <laughs> Ooh, coffee creamer. I've always wanted to try coffee creamer. <laughs> if there are family cribs, they're also not safe for work cribs. I mean... <laughs> I don't know, Haley. I've seen a lot of movies to know that they sometimes do try and go somewhere. All right, we've got this voice cylinder which needs to go back to the factory. I just feel like in the zombie apocalypse, poor people have to crawl out of the dirt. I think rich people should have to struggle with their locks. Typically a mausoleum crypt doesn't even open at the front because of leakage. Leakage. Le leakage? Oh, like, like rain leakage, not like... Mirrors in video games are often cameras. I saw that video. I saw that video. I saw that video, Quinnon. Just rainwater leaking in. I'm not thinking about what's leaking out. Just rainwater leaking in. Just rainwater leaking in. Just leaking in. Just water leaking in. Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Rain leakage. Oh, wow. It's a very close up of Kate here. Oh, I sorry, they Robert, said we had to swear. To never, ever this to anyone. <laughs> Just pick my favorite. <laughs> it's right swear there. <laughs> you see? But it's dark in there. Don't this is scary. The this is this is a bit scary. The factory. Girls, honestly. <laughs> Girls. You won't so clever when father notices you've stolen one of his lanterns. Covered in mud because of you. Look, Anna. Look. I've seen paintings like this in a library book. They're like you swore, Anna. It's a secret between I you did and say me. fuck. I did. Hey, look. There's something else up there. Oh, come on. It's like a toy. I have to have it. Give me some light. <laughs> I have to have it. It's much too hot. Me when I see an anime figure. Do be careful, Hans. <laughs> That's me. Hans, be careful. <laughs> For weeks, my brother lay in a Who made this? Life and death. Who was like, wow, yeah, you know what? I'm going to make an automation of my brother nearly dying. <laughs> Never ever betrayed our secret. We did already know. We did. We did indeed. Yo. I don't know why she's acting so shocked. We even read it in the. Uh, can I take it? Oh fuck yeah, I can take it. Yeah, I can commit theft. Right. Let's go. I'm 
suffered enough. I have. I've, I've suffered. I've suffered enough. <laughs> I never betrayed the secret until anyone else sees this animatronic or reads my diary. Or, or that letter that I sent to the, uh, sent to the solicitor. We love the badger. Lost, thank you very much. Very much. Thank you. Wasn't there anything inside the box? No, we got the, we got the meta mechanical toy. Right, I guess we, we can maybe leave. I feel like we've done everything, except the maze. I don't know if we're going to have to go back to the maze. I might just... I'm just going to search on the maze. Keep following the path. Uh, maze, maze, maze. Alright, no, we don't have to go into the maze. Right. Because it's just going to take us so long to walk back to here. I might as well just check if we need to go in the maze or not. Right, train time. This is a very nice. This is a very nice um, train station. Reminds me of the uh, the. Uh, the the nice train station in New York. What's it called? The Golden. The, well, the one where they go to in Madagascar. The one where Marty goes to. You know the one. Hello. Oh, I'm good. Lovely. Pop that right there. <laughs> Give the animatronic of her brother nearly dying pride of place. Put that there. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, Grand Central Station from the famous movie Madagascar. Exactly. Right, can I go now? It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Hello. I would like to leave. This please. train is amazing. I'm going to travel like a princess. I am happy that you like it, Kate Walker. This Walker. train has been designed to optimize passenger comfort. Okay, uh, do I? Don't I? Oh. Got the train release permit. Present this document stamped by the recognized permitting authority. Is that just him? He's our favorite character. You don't like him, Herbal? Is it is it is it just gonna be him in here? Oh no, I bet I I've got it. I got an idea. I know who I'm gonna see. I bet it's the solicitor. You know who? Who can stamp a rec like an, a recognized authority? I, they don't seem to have a police service here. Is there any peculiarities of local trains in England? Um, they just tend to smell really bad. <laughs> trains in the UK just tend to smell really bad. Um, the tube is really fucking noisy. Like really not like so noisy. Um, yeah, no leg room. People don't like wearing their shoes on the train or socks. Um, there's usually someone really drunk uh, at like 10 a.m. They've usually got a, a can of strong bow in their hand and they're horrifically drunk even though it's clearly early in the morning. Someone playing music on their phone. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, people arguing as well. Like somebody is... <laughs> I want to knock your block off! That's me with the strong bow. Yeah. Uh usually like like piss all over the floor as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Piss all over the floor. Is this gonna be it? Hey Alindra, good morning. No We're talking about trains, local trains, no I suppose. 
train service. Which one am I? I am the person huddled in the corner hoping that no one talks to me. A lot of M NYPD. The, pol the police. No need to... Someone asking for your ticket and then someone else hiding in the toilets as well. Because they don't have their... They, they didn't pay for their ticket. The toilet door that never locks. So it's like an automatic toilet door. So it, it closes, but then it automatically opens. So if you're peeing and you didn't... Yeah, it opens randomly. That's it, Chad. That's it. So if you're peeing, sometimes the door will just open to like a packed train. Not that you'd really want to use... What is this? Approve. Oh, cool. Um, You want to use this? My... Oh, I had to, I had to fill them up. Oh, isn't that fun? My favorite spider person. I like Spider Gwen. I'll be honest. I don't actually really know who Spider Gwen is. I think, I think she's um, Emma Stone in a spider, spider, spider person outfit. That was thrilling. That definitely felt like the 15 minute run back here was worth it, right? Uh, cozy, quiet, and nice. Oh, I wish. I wish ours were. Ours are always fucking late as well, or they don't turn up. <laughs> and they're overpriced. It's so expensive to use the train in the UK. Like they're like, oh, why do people use their cars? Because you can't afford to take it. You can't afford to take the train. That's why. What's this game about? Murder, incest. It was it was a little bit incesty. I'll be honest. Like just it gave it gave you it gave you vibes, gave you vibes. Um, but it's it's a legal game. We are a lawyer, we're a lawyer, and we're here to oversee a an American company buy American toy company buying this automaton factory. And we've got a really we've got an asshole of a boyfriend. He's a, he's a real he's a real fucking dickhead, Alundra. He calls us every so often. He's just an asshole. So really, for me, that's the kind of sordid affair that's going on backwards. We're gonna go visit Hans. Um, he is the heir to this automaton factory because the person we were initially gonna sell it to died. So now we're looking for the next heir. He's all wrapped up in this like fake to death kind of scenario. So we're gonna go find him, and I hope that Hans is going to be single and we're going to be able to marry him and get away from Dan. Yeah, <laughs> the murderer. Yeah. Oh dear. Is Gwen Stacy from an alternate, alternate universe where she was bitten by a spider instead of Peter Parker? Oh fun, he mutated into the lizard. So is he lizard man, Haley? He becomes lizard man. God, how unlucky is he? If he doesn't get bitten by a fucking spider, he just becomes a lizard man. Yeah, but he didn't even give her the boyfriend locket. Is that a locket from your boyfriend? The boyfriend locket? He becomes bat lizard. The lizard. I believe also dead. So is he a dead lizard? I, or is, does he die while he's the lizard? Can I give that to you? That was his first name. <laughs> I thought it was Peter. Here. Hey, I would not even. This is your stupid train now we're good. Ratification, Oscar. We're not stuck. Thank you, Kate Walker. That is perfect. Rick's doing all right. Yeah. He lots of work after a long weekend. Oh, he was killing. He was killed while on a li lizardy rampage. Did Gwen love him despite him being a lizard, or was he not? Not was she not into not into the scales? It's me again, Arthur. Hello. Hello, Kate Walker. Can we go? This train is amazing. Can we, can we go? I'm going to travel like a princess. I am happy that you like it, Kate. Can I, can I? Can Don't I, I, I... Can I give you my ticket?
Did she kill him while he was on the rampage, Haley? Right. Everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. Long fingers as well. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such ignorance on my part sound like is the same inadmissible. Guy, I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please Kate Walker. return to your seat and we can leave. Finally. <laughs> my nephew thought the Batman was bit by a radioactive bat. Was <laughs> yeah, sure. I suppose that's better than just saying that his parents were really rich, right? Oh. Oh, fuck, we got on a train ride, lads! The music in this game is like 10 out of 10, though. Like, it's really fucking creepy. know if this is our own private train line or whether we're using like publicly owned train lines see right now if this was a british train you'd get <laughs> you'd hear some drunk person getting in a fight behind you <laughs> what are you fucking looking at Has anything happened to- Ooh, a bedroom! This is nice. No point weighing myself down. All right, okay. The wife and I were watching the telly the other night and she turned to me and said, you haven't been listening to me, have you? And I thought, that's sure a strange way to start coffee. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oh dear. Spider ham. Oh wow. That's kind of fun. Spider ham. Spider ham. Oh, Urban, you'll also have to let us know when you come back from your trip to the UK. You have to let us know what you think of the UK train system. I want to get a fresh perspective. Where are we, Oscar? At the halls of residence of Bahochstadt University. And do we really have to stop here? The situation is incompatible with the pursuit of our journey. What are you waiting for then? Wind them up. Find wind a way. Wind them up. There must be some sort of train winding thing just laying around in this weirdo station. I have seen nothing that fits that description, Kate Walker. I guess we'd better find out then. I do not like this station. <laughs> the atmospheric weird. humidity is detrimental to my sophisticated wheel workings. I will wait for you inside the train. Okay. <sighs> Wimp. And to think that when I first became a lawyer, I was worried I'd get stuck behind a desk. Is something wrong, Kate Walker? Is the restaurant car service not to your liking? Would you like another pillow? This is lovely. Don't worry, Oscar. Everything's just hunky-dory. And you are just hunky-dory, too. Oh, oh, was that flirting? That was that was a bit of that was a bit flirtatious of Kate just then, wasn't it? Hey, Admiral Akbar, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. You can walk if you don't like the train. <laughs> Oscar, we have a serious problem. How can we carry on our journey if this train doesn't want to budge? What are our options? Every clock has its key, Kate Walker. Keep looking. Well, I hope you're right. I'm gonna go see what I can find. Okay. Oscar, there's no way you could help me find a way to wind the train back up again? Rust awaits my every movement <laughs> if I leave this train, Kate Walker. And what would you do with a rusty engine driver? <sighs> Chuck him in the soup. Oscar, I think that Hans Vorlberg once stayed in this town after he left Valadilen. Maybe this wasn't a chance stopover after all. 
Nothing is left to chance in a railroad network. <laughs> you agree with me then? I think this is our own private no concrete rail, proof like to support railroad your network, hypothesis. Then. The train stopped because the clockwork mechanism is unwound. That is the only concrete evidence we have, Kate Walker. I was just hoping for a little imagination on your part, Austin. Well, it probably no, Kate needs Walker. to be wound every station, I am only right? an automaton, Kate Walker. Kate Walker, Kate Walker. This train might be a wonder of technology, but the engine's limited autonomy is a liability. You got to admit Oh, I'm that. sorry that it doesn't have a I refuse to unlimited battery, Kate, Kate Walker. Walker. <laughs> like, why doesn't this Ask train it? run forever? In a while. For free. A fake fictional Germany. Oh, wow. Germany's got a lot more plants than I thought it would. Fake birds or real birds? <laughs> birds that are used, being used to spy on us by the government or... <gasps> oh, okay, I'm gonna need to clear those birds out, <gasps> it seems like. Oh, she's very afraid. Not the birds! Right. Let's leave the birds alone for now then, let's go up here. Birds are a hoax. The cameras! The cameras being used to watch us! Real fake birds. This is quite nice. Very tropical for Germany. Very, like, very... <laughs> if they were drones, I feel like they'd be used for more useful things, like, you know, carrying our Amazon orders to us. The train ride I had around the... Schwarzwald. Schwarzwald? It's absolutely stunning. The greenery in the mountains. Oh. Was it a steam train or was it an electric Can't train? Alright, well, I'm glad I walked all the way out here, Kate Walker. If you decide you can't go that way. Go then. Hang on. Is there a different way? Yeah, it was a puzzle agent we had to work out how many packages can the birds carry. If one bird can carry five kilograms, how many kilograms can five birds carry? Oh my god, strange man! Hello. You're on my train, I see. What are you yes, doing sir. here? I've come from Valadilen. This it's been is a long so time uncanny. Students, did you bring students with you? No, I traveled alone. Well, almost alone. I remember around the start of fall, the train would bring kids from all around the world. That's you creepy. And did Martin, you bring any kids? Paleontology and all that stuff. This was a great university. Oh, was it? And it isn't hey, still Retro. great today, then? Good morning. Uh, How are you doing? Today. Good afternoon. Huh. Have you been the station master of Barokstad for a long time? Barokstad? I've never had another job. Now, you tell me, are you in charge of this train? Yes. No, I mean, I'm not sure. So what's your thing here? You come here to do some bookworming over at the university? Well, he's, he's very. I'm always looking for new information. Hmm. They don't seem to know a lot. And about that train, it's gonna get in the way if you leave it there. That's for sure. In fact, I'm a lawyer, and I'm conducting a I know my rights. I'm a lawyer. Investigation, huh? Uh, hey, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm just a station master. I, I don't know too much about anything. Well, you never know. Anybody could be significant in this case. See, uh, nobody actually tells me anything, so my hands are totally clean. He said the word! I never implied they weren't. He said the fucking word, Lance. You don't know where I might find equipment to he wind up my train springs, do you? Well, not in this station, that's for sure. And I would know. 
You might want to try near the wall. So, yeah, think it will stay for long, miss? The wall? No. I mean, I don't know, actually. One or two days tops. You see, I've got to wind my train back up so that I can continue my journey. It just, uh, if you stay here too long, I might get in trouble. The train should stop, then leave again. That's the rule. Besides, your machine's disturbing the birds. Maybe you could take me up to this wall? If there were two of us, we could find what I need to wind up my train even quicker. Uh, miss, forgive me, I, I gotta stick to the rules. You know, I have to man the station. I don't want to get into trouble with my superiors at the university. Uh, you understand? He's giving me real sassy vibes. I don't think he's the station master at all, lads. I think he's just some creep that waits there. You got any kids on that train? I don't like him. I don't like him. Oh, had a lovely day watching historical reenactment. Oh, I saw your photos. I saw your photos. Oh, was it a good time? Did you all have a good time? She, I know she's going to stop talking. Good morning like... and welcome to this Oscar train line service team. Someplace stopping at. Barrickstadt University. <laughs> Lower dipping. Scrooge. <laughs> Spewing. Take a gym. Someplace. There is no buffet service on this train. The quiet coach is coached. Please. Coach D, please don't poop on the seats and stand clear of the doors. <laughs> Wait, you guys have you guys have quiet coaches? You guys have quiet? I want a quiet coach. We don't have quiet coaches. We have shit coaches and we want worse coaches. You guys have like quiet coaches? Even the first class sections on um like UK trains are barely like are barely separated by anything. Hey Arthur! Arthur, how are you doing this morning? He wouldn't be allowed in the quiet coach. The name Hans Barlberg doesn't mean anything to you by chance, does it? Oh, do you really think I'd remember one little name from the thousands that pass through this station? He's lying. The name Hans Oh, yeah, I clicked down. Oh, do you really? He's lying. I'm sorry to junk up your station like this, but junk the spring up mechanism on my train is that American saying? Bring up where look more. Howdy now, you're junking up the station. Yeah, and an impractical thing, too. Yeah, I always dreamed of taking a train, but now I'm over the hill. And someone has to take care of the birds, after all. He's given me real sassy vibes. Like he's never taken a train yet, he's just station master. All these birds in a station. It's amazing. He's, they're not real birds. No ordinary station, miss. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. The prestigious University of Baruchstadt Ornithological Collection. Over the years, this aviary has housed some of the most fantastic species from all over the world. And I am not exactly your typical station master either. This little world is my responsibility, and that is no easy task. I can well believe you. And you know what's the hardest? The hardest thing okay, is to tell keep me. interspecial harmony. And one day some explorer introduced a couple of cuckoos from the Amazon. Whoa. It wasn't a good idea? A nightmare. You know cuckoos lay their eggs in the nest of other species. He's going to tell me about the Bruce Forsyth program on TV tonight. They also the eggs out of the nest so that they receive all the mother's attention, right? A cursed cuckoos. Nightmare. I see what you mean. That's one tricky bird. And there was nothing you could do to stop it? Why are we having this conversation? A protected species. It wasn't for our mechanical eagle. We were sitting on a major ornithological catastrophe. You have an automaton here? A wonder of technology. It's an eagle that's mounted on wheels in the air. Who is it? It, through, it swoops down to collect parasite eggs. But heck, the dang eagle's been out of order for several years. Impossible to collect the eggs myself. Why not? I, uh, I can't climb up the gangway. I fell off it several months back, and I still have a pain in my spine. I bet his feet are bolted to the floor. Getting. I only, only have to look up in the air. Whoa. You poor soul. That must be very hard. Worst thing Sarcasm, is, Kate, isn't good. Piling up in the nest. 
Soon the rectors. Uh, yeah, sure they'll be in the rectum. There's trouble in store. Big trouble. I'm worried. Yep, worried. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a conversation with my granddad. It is. <laughs> hey, Alex, ahoy, ahoy! I won't ahoy, ahoy! Welcome yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure the eagle will have something we need, or maybe the key will be in the nest, or something. Something important, I'm sure. In Austria, there used to be a kid's carriage. Waterwall, soft play, and TV. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. What, like it, oh, like a carriage on a train? What's this? A hook. Arthur, it's lovely to see you too. Did you have a long weekend this weekend, Arthur? I'm sure this will be very important at some point. And we'll be very thankful we had this conversation on a train. That's kind of fun. I don't know. It does sound like just a carriage of disease. And, you know, we spoke about, um, like, soft play being just <laughs> full of, like, germs. Full of verrucas. We're not allowed up on the front of the train, okay. Oh, we can leave. Do I want to leave yet? I don't think I... I mean, I do, but I don't. I think we've got more things to look at here. How do I like Siberia? It's... I, I really like it. As much as I complain about it being slow, because, God, it just takes forever to walk anywhere. But once you get to the place you're supposed to be walking to, very enjoyable. It makes me reluctant to kind of search around because I'm always like, oh, I don't want to walk right and it not be the right way because then I'm going to have to come back. It's enjoyable, 100%. I think I got this. I think I got this one on sale. Uh, but it was really, it was really cheap. No point. Right. So well worth picking up if you can find it on sale. Out the front. Locked. No point. It's, it's for not. free sometimes. Oh, I got cheated. I got cheated. I paid. <laughs> What's this? Oh, a dam. Oh, I can keep flood the place. That looks broken. Of course, everything's always broken everywhere. Oh, it looks like it's snapped, maybe? In case of problems, contact the following number. Oh, 2 2-7-6-6-6-7-4-2. 2-7-6-6-6-7-4-2. 2-7-6-6-6-7-4-2. 2-7-6-6-6-7-4-2. Seven, six, 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 seven, four, two. Ah, you have to get epic, though. Welcome to the East Block Control Center. To start, press the number sign. If you are it's using the, the hash key. lock, press one. If you are using the Morlock lock, press two. If you are using the Conning Pass lock, press three. If you are using the At least it's not having a shout down on the four. phone. To four. To the last command, press the number sign. Are you using lock number two? No. Four. If you want to raise the water level, press one. Why is? If you <laughs> want to lower the water level, press two. To return to the last command, press the number. I don't know what I want. I don't know. Uh, one. You want to raise the water level in the barracks stuff lock? Yes. To confirm your choice, press star. To return yes. to the previous command, press the number sign.
Your request has been logged. Unfortunately, our regional technician is currently on holiday, and no replacement is available. We will reply to your request within 48 hours. In case of an emergency, please operate the lock system manually. We apologize for delays to our service. Why? Well, I fucking hope there wasn't an emergency because I just spent 10 minutes on the phone to you. Do it manually? You didn't tell me how to do it manually. In case of a case of an emergency, please figure it out yourself. No, we don't have these prompts. What is this? Everything's an emergency for us. How do I how do I operate it manually? This? Oh my god, what's this? I, I need, need a key. key. The hook and the key. No. I mean we have these style lines, you know, like if you want to talk to Miranda, please press one. If you'd rather talk to Garrus, press two. The worst ones are where you've got to say it down the line. Like, okay. please state the state who you want to talk to, and then you'd say, Miranda, and then it would be like putting you through to Garrus right now. Please say the number or press it in your keypad, followed by hash. But we don't have them for like locks and stuff, I don't think. For locks, you just open them yourself. Milkshakes or smoothies? Depends what I'm in the mood for, really. You know, milkshake if I'm in the mood for a dessert, smoothie if I'm in, like, you know, in the mood for some fruit juice but something thicker. Or, like, you know, smoothies are quite good for breakfast as well. Would you rather eat Tally Zora of Ars Normandy off the cliff? Please press 4. Shake, press 14. Let's keep having a look then. And then we'll go and ask the guy for the key because he might have it. Hey, good morning. Hi. Oh, oh this place is. Everything's been destroyed. Now that guy's really giving me the that spooky thing vibes. Looks like the winding machine I used in the Valadilen station. I've got to find a way of getting the train up here. Probably via here. There's probably some rails underneath, right? It is really the wall. They were like, do you want to see the wall? That's, that's certainly a wall. Talk to a real person in increasingly annoyed tones. Let me speak to an agent. Sorry, no agents are available right now. <laughs> Please press one for more options. All right, I think we want to go up the other side, so we might have to run all the way back. I don't see anything we can click here. The worst thing is when they say um, we value all of our customers or we, you know, we really value your phone call right now. I know they don't value my phone call. They don't, they don't fucking value it. They want me to go away. Have you played it yet, Heil, or have you uh, you've been waiting to play it? You swear on the automated menu from HP at auto. <laughs> Must be very hard as an Australian drunk. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Would you like a snack? Yeah? Would you like a snack? Yeah. Good. He's a good girl. Worst thing is when you wait and they just tell you to try again after 30 minutes. Oh! Yeah. The worst thing is when you call them, you've gone through, you know, you've gone through all of the fucking press one, press two, and they're like, 
All of our agents are busy right now. Please try again later and then... Oh, so annoying. Isn't it sausage? Yeah, it is. Such a cutie. <laughs> Give me a human now, mate. Kate Walker! Oh! Kate Walker! Come over here, please! I have something to say to you! Don't go back inside! Oh, sweetheart, don't stop bumping your head! Idiot, aren't you? He's gonna propose. Oh, so romantic. Kate Walker! Kate Walker! Just some random Taurus or some random, like, dude. What do you have to say to me? Yes, Oscar? What is it? A message has arrived for you. A message? You have been summoned to see the Rectors. They are the highest the authority at the university. They want to talk to you. Oh, talk cool. I, we are a proctologist, yes, after To all. the person responsible for the train. So, I'm in charge now. Sure. Okay. But why would these gentlemen want to see me at all? They do not say why, just that it's very important. Well, where, where are they? You not, you've not, you've not sent? Everything okay, Oscar? Where are they? Yes, Kate Walker. I am awaiting your instructions. Where are the men? There's a winding machine further on down there. But we're going to have to shift the train 50 yards. Impossible, Kate Walker. Train Engineer's Instruction Manual, Chapter 3, Article 2. Once the springs are slack, the train cannot move. The train cannot move by itself, Oscar. Only by itself. Okay. Cool. Oscar, see you in a while. See you later, alligator. So they said they wanted to see me, but why... Where? I'll find it. Every time I open my back door, my cats sprint to get out. <laughs> Two minutes later, they realize outside is not a magical place of treats and scratches and they want back in. Yeah. Yeah. The worst is when you let them out. They then, like, they just stand in front of the back door. And you're like, did you not want to, you were standing there to go out. You don't want to go out? And they're like, no, I don't think I want to go out right now. Can I come back in? And you're like, no, we asked to go out. Cats are such little assholes. Maybe in here. Is it back by the wall, I, I wonder? I'm getting wall vibes. I hate it every time I can click out of a game. Like, um, I'm playing it in windowed mode, so it's really easy for me to just click out of it. Accident. Oh, shit. A puzzled man holding a phone. You've reached the New York Times at the sound of the tone of your voice. <laughs> Someone sent an email to the support email for my work asking for help with the problem at their job. Oh, wow. What's their problem, Brad? What's their problem? Let me in. She's like that, though. Like if it's raining, she's like, oh, I need to pee. Oh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to go out and pee anymore. <laughs> Hey, that's you, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I need to pee, but I don't want to go outside in the rain. I'm such a pain, aren't you, my love? Yeah. She's in my lap right now. Yeah, it's out the door with them. Inside, ten minutes later, they're crying to go out again. Oh, I miss the smells of outside. Let me out. I think she wants a snack. Oh, look, Mammoth! You see that? Look at that! Look at those fucking mammoths! Oh, I wonder if they need me to go there. Let's go there. Go that way. I know you want a snack. I'm not giving you one just because you asked. Doesn't mean you get. For the sake. Oh, cute prone. Cute. At least they're not laying on the keyboard. 
yelling about pee. <laughs> well, you know, what, what more do you expect? She's upset now. She's giving me the silent treatment. Well, please give me a snack, mummy. I'm so hungry, I haven't had one in one hour. Red, you should send them a, uh, you know, like a resignment letter. You know, the letter that you have to write when you quit. A letter of resignation. If you can't do your job, here is letter. Good. Or is that too mean? Would you lose your job over that? I don't think you should. More, more, you know, be a warning, right? Don't do that again, Bread. Up here. Oh, it's just another door. She does that if I don't lay, <laughs> lay down and let her lay on me. She knows you're giving more attention to the computer than her. Mm. Let's try going this way. I know I'm supposed to go up here, but you know, the puzzle game, you've got to, got to explore everywhere, right? <laughs> She's so slow. <laughs> it's like watching Baywatch with the slow motion running. Da 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 Oh a beautiful green a lovely moss green to go with the uh to go with the green plants. A good choice. Hello. Hey there, on the boat. Good tag, Sherda Mademoiselle! My husband say Hello, young lady. You want to talk to us? <laughs> what is this accent? No. <laughs> Hello, young lady. <laughs> My name is Kate Walker. And I'm a lawyer. I'm in charge of this train. This situation is really very new to me. Lawyer! Good job! Earn lots of money! <laughs> a lot? A, a lot? No, I wouldn't go that far. But I, I can't I really mean, complain, I guess. All right, Kate. Here's all worse. right. Lawyer always ask a lot of money. Can we change the subject, please? I really don't want to go down this road. <laughs> Kate, just tell him how much you earn, for goodness sake. Oh, he said pretty madam. Oh, oh. Are you from Barrett? Kate is pretty, madam. Yet, so you're like me. Birds just passing through. I'm stuck here because of my train. Kleine Puskerreisen mit uns, no? What did you just call me? What did he say? Train kaput. No luck for you. <laughs> train kaput. No luck for you. Oh, I love this lady. Is this actually a, like, this isn't a German language, right? Right, like this isn't this isn't someone who actually who is actually German. Say, like this is somebody this is like an American doing a German accent, right? I have a little problem with my train. It's kind of broken. Hey, good morning, I've Jay. absolutely got to get it out of the station. Do you think you could tow it over to the wall with your barge? Lock closed. Barge block. But if the locks were open, would it be okay to tow my train then? Porque no? More money for that work. They want money. Ah, it's possible. My husband say we help you if you give money. That's why you shouldn't have opened right. up that you were a lawyer. And how much do you want? She wants pay. He wants one hundred and fifty dollar. A hundred and fifty dollars? I don't have that much. No money, no barge. Let me offer you seventy-five. No, one twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Sorry, are we playing Out Elder the Scrolls? One hundred dollars and not a dime more. Correct. You have barge for one hundred dollar. Great. Now don't move. I'll be back as quick as possible with the money. They do sound slightly. Like you're right. Now we've got to get one hundred and fifty dollars from somewhere. Does it I help have a next? Problem with oh but if no. You must really get to see the countryside. Do you know New York at all? We not understand. Yeah. New York, I'm looking the for countryside. A man who was supposed to live in Siberia. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Siberia. I expect 
You've already been there. <laughs> Shit, I don't know what she's trying to get at. Come to Siberia. Siberia? No. Too cold. Barge, no break ice. Yeah, he's kind of, it kind of also sounds a bit uh, Scandinavian. I hope my train isn't too big for your barge. It's okay. Motor boat. It's the class. Your motor My boating? husband say correct. Power motor boating? Motor. I, mean, I don't think that's exactly what he said. Very far from the winding machine, are we? It's dumb, isn't it? All this effort to go a few yards. Put train in barge? Nay, <laughs> not possible. I think your husband wants to motor boat. Have you me, gone down to take a look around the station yet? It's amazing. Motor boat you know, first it's full class. Of exotic <laughs> birds. Is that for Danish? Hey, my gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. We no leave boat. Husband is land sick. No, that's not what he said. What did he say, lads? He said my pleasure, right? Have you right? gone down to take a look around the station? Me to my gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, my no pleasure. Sounds like yes, Husband my pleasure. Is land sick. I want to know what he said. It's not very polite of you to take advantage of my predicament. We could have done favors for each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a mix Out of, of like solidarity. five languages, right? Father, father, I lost speak not full. Maria, wait full. Excuse me? My husband say need money for leave. One hundred dollar not lot for fancy lady like you. How would you know a fancy lady like me, really? I'll leave you to it. I won't disturb you again. Dos vidania. That was dos vidania. Isn't that um Polish? That was Russian. Ah. Dos vidania. Right. Let's go to the university. Let's go to the mammoth place. Goodbye. What's the Vidania? The name like Kate Walker's just fancy. They're a fancy lady. I don't think we have any money. I I don't don't think we can like we don't even have a fucking wallet on us. Like why did she why was she like, yeah, I'll give you 75. 75 what? Kate? From where? I suppose we can rifle through some bins and like check down the back of the sofa. We got here. I suspect we've probably got to get in here at some point, right? Oh, oh, gentlemen, spooky gentlemen. Oh, egg. Uh, do we need to put something in, like egg, to? Oh, this thing's. It's jammed. We probably have to balance out the egg. Dovizania is Polish for goodbye. Must be um must be just similar to Russian. Thought so. I recognized it. Do trains have sofas? Uh not in the UK they don't have sofas. In like fancy trains. Do or uh, some some older trains like uh, steam trains and stuff. They have like little. I guess I guess they're sofas. Kate's firm doesn't cover random trips. Oh, I wonder if we can call our work office. Hello, I need I need a hundred dollars. Hello. Our one has armchairs. Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. I need a hundred dollars, Mr. Mr. Marson. Right I need, need a hundred dollars. I'll tell him you call. Could you tell him I need a hundred dollars? <laughs> Just keep asking. Let's call mum. Mummy, you got a hundred dollars. Even our bloody mother isn't picking up. Yeah, I know when uh, when Greg visited Croatia, he could kind of get by um, language wise. He could kind of understand what they were saying and they could un kind of understand what he was saying. No mum for you. Olivia, it's Kate. Yeah! What? I'm not, I'm not getting the call. Yeah, Olivia, I can't hear you. <laughs> Speak up. Well, I... 
Oh, Stan, my boyfriend. Oh, no. He'll hold that over me. I'm hanging up, Olivia. The line's too bad. I'll call you later, okay? Fuck's sake. Right, next. Dan, right. Is there anyone else? Oh, Dan is last. Last resort. Dan Foster isn't around to take your call right now, so please leave your message after the tone. Hey, Dan, you're not around to Even Dan won't pick up the phone. Everyone's so mean. No one wants to give me money. Hello. Hey, baby, you party? You sure looking mighty fine. Love those big round eyes. Just who do you think you are? Hey, Spunky. I'd like that in a lady. Okay, I'm hooked. Come on, Zol. I'll let you buy me that coffee. <laughs> I don't remember ever asking. Hey, don't you play just hard to get. Spunky. I know you like it big time. Listen, kid. Go back home and play with your toy cars and forget <laughs> you ever saw me. Okay. Hello. Hey, baby, you party? You sure looking mighty fine. Just who? Hey. <laughs> hey <laughs> Money <listen>. if <laughs> you got hundred dollars. <laughs> Is your, your actual real birthday? Oh, happy birthday! What cake are you having? What, what cake are you having? Happy birthday! I don't like that he called me Spunky. I know, I don't, I'm not gonna give him anything for $100, he's just gonna give it to me. Happy birthday, Herbal. Happy, big happy birthday! Do you wanna say happy birthday as well? Say happy birthday? Say happy birthday! He's a good girl. Yeah, good girl. Susan says happy birthday. I don't think I'm having cake today. That's illegal, Herbal. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that's it. Not having cake on your birthdays is, is illegal. I'm afraid. So you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to have it. So I don't make the law, you know, I just enforce it. A birthday brunch. Yeah. I'm not giving you any more, you had one snack. What are you getting? Oh, a cupcake will do. Or a muffin. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of places. Do I want to go this way? Oh, I suppose so. This is a big, big old big old library. I suppose I'll just have to have a cake. You don't want me to report you. <laughs> to the cake police. Didn't have cake on my last birthday? Oh, I suppose cookies will do as well. I don't know. I might have to file a report at the cake police for that, Rex. Cake isn't a choice. It's a, uh, it's a legal requirement for birthday. Raspberry cheesecake. Oh, it does have cake in the name as well. Can't resist a good chocolate cake. Oh, my favorite kind of cake is um, chocolate banana cake. Cake is not a choice, it's a lie. Oh, carrot cake's good, yeah. I like a bit of carrot cake. Excuse me. <clears throat> Can I disturb you a second? No. You could be a little bit nicer about it. Keep quiet. In case you haven't noticed, we're somewhere that requires silence and tranquility. Just like the stream. Let's go bother someone else then. Oh, lad, I'm gonna have to read this, aren't I? Amazon. Are they spelling the Amazon wrong? Or is Amazon like a... Like, kind of fantasy... Fantasy place of... Like, that's like the Amazon, but spelled different. Amazon. Memories of an Expedition. By Alexander, Alexandra, 
Valembois. It's a pseudo Amazon. Okay. Oh, it's the birds. <clears throat> the red Amazon cuckoo, Cucullus vosso. This subspecies of the common Cucullus canus is endemic in the Amazon uh, Amazon forests and is one of the region's most brightly coloured species. The male's plumage is a bright vermilion, while the female's is a little more... A little more... wet and neutral? Russet? Russet? Russet. Russet and neutral. Hey, Yomis, how are you doing today? Good morning. Oh, good evening. Good afternoon. What time are we? Yeah, it's a good late afternoon. How are you doing today? What was the name? <laughs> the Latin name again? Cuculus Canus. Or oh, Cano... Cano... Canoa? Maybe? Habitat and food. The red cuckoo inhabits the more isolated and dense areas of the Amazon forest. It is reliant on the thick upper foliage of the rainforest to live its lonely existence. That's sad. The explorer may nevertheless have an excellent view of the bird when the, Amaz uh, when the am animal ventures to lower branches in search of forest Savignon grapes. The wild vines provide the bird with the majority of its food. The cuckoo is particularly partial to its juicy fruit. The red cuckoo may sometimes gorge itself on this fruit to the point of drunkenness, rendering it an easy prey for any jungle predator. Eat and be eaten. Such is the impla implacable law of nature. Reproduction. Who wants to hear about some... Cuckoo's sex. You never know the time. It's like you. Uh, I wake up and it's already afternoon, so it feels like the morning. <laughs> I don't wake up that late, but it, like I swear, the morning goes by so quickly that it, it just it still feels like the morning, even when it's afternoon. And when does evening start? Does evening start at six, or does evening start at like five? When are we saying good evening to people? Like other species of cuckoo, the red Amazon cuckoo delegates the task of raising its young to other birds. This parasitic behaviour enables the species to reproduce prolifically with minimum effort. The female cuckoo scouts its territory on the lookout for nests under construction. She chooses the moment when its owners are absent to lay her eggs, generally in the afternoon. The cuckoo's always saying good afternoon then. The host, meanwhile, will lay mainly in the morning. After laying an egg in her selected nest, the female will remove one of the host's eggs and destroy it or eat it later. The cuckoo's egg generally hatches before the eggs of its adopted brothers and sisters. The cuckoo chick will instinctively edge the other eggs from the nest. The young cuckoo grows fast. Sometimes its foster parents will preach, perch on the back of the hungry chick to feed it. Even if the cuckoo's egg is very different to the smaller host eggs, it is nevertheless mimics the host egg in certain ways, not perfectly, but just enough to be accepted by most species. The future. The red cuckoo's love of the grape could sadly prove fatal to the species in the medium term. European settlers who have tried... Settlers? Who have tried to cultivate the grape on Amazonian alluvial plains have decimated the Amazon red cuckoo population. Grape produ pr producers to protect their harvest from what they would call in innovate, innovate looting. Why do they have to do it in this font? I can't fucking I can't I can't read this font have declared all-out war on the bird. Siberia, 
the name of the sound emitted by Portuguese and Spanish citizens when they feel bored, <laughs> frustrated or disappointed. This comment is in no way related to the encyclopedia reading session currently oh, no. ongoing. <laughs> not at all, Burza, not at all. Burza, are you in uh, in section PS? Or oh, PRS, I guess. Siberia, Spanish or Portuguese. <laughs> Burza, thank you so much for 32 months. Thank you so much. You're like, you're staring down three years at the moon, Burza. Thank you very, very much. I can write in, like, I can write in, the, I guess, cursive, but I just, like, what do you... It's like, you know, it's that meme with that guy looking at the really tiny, like, tiny font and I can't read anything. It is to be feared that the cuckoo, or the cuckoo, will be on the losing side. The red cuckoo reproduces relatively well in captivity and is one of the jewels of the crown of the Back Salt University and or ornithological collections. However, scientists at the university have their own reservations about the species and its propensity to become practically invasive whenever conditions are favourable to it, to the detriment of other rarer species. Heads of the Baxalt Avery have therefore undertaken a policy of birth control to attempt to balance... Oh, fuck! I clicks off of it. Piss bags. Oh, no. Lads, we're never gonna know how they're how they're controlling the cuckoos. Brent, don't fall asleep. You need to hear about how the cuckoos are having sex, Brent. <laughs> um oh. In attempt to balance out nature's imperfections. In this artificial environment, the forest Savignon grape. Oh, that's the picture. Today, it is very rare to find the forest Savignon grape in the wild. The species have been decimated by a terrible equatorial phylloxavia epidemic. However, in Europe, successful cultivation of the plant is the pride of the Back Salt University botany collection and has largely contributed to the survival of the species around the world. It's an attempt to balance the fucks. Well, we are talking about reproduction here, I suppose. Wonderful. Right. Did we all learn something? I'm presuming we're going to have to ask for some grapes so that we can get the cuckoos out the way. Wait till this information is only relevant in three streams and only relevant for one puzzle, eh? Yeah, write that down, lads. Write that down. There'll be a test. There'll be a test. This is going to be on the one year, uh, four year anniversary test. I'm going to ask you what is the red cuckoo's favorite grape? Yeah, the birds steal other birds' nests. So the cuckoo will find a nest that is uh, already got eggs in it and then it will chuck an egg out and put its own egg in. And then when the cuckoo is. The, the baby cuckoo is born, it'll chuck out the other egg so it gets favourable attention. Dictionary of plants and mushrooms. Lads, buckle in. Buckle in. It's another thrilling book that we get to read. I knew my apprentice badger would get into natural history if I could just stay awake long enough. <laughs> All it needed was some inebriated ornithology. I was going to have to resort to the cake eating birds next. Well, by the sound of their reproduction, they do eat a little bit of cake, Pixels. <laughs> pixels. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, David, we've got an exciting, exciting book for you. The Illustrated Dictionary of Plants and Mushrooms. The Friends of Barrow Salt University Naturalist Society, prefaced by Professor Cornelius Ponce. All right, let's get going. Oh, God. Oh, nudity, lads. There's a bit of nudity in this book. Last time I was here at a reading section as well, my time is so wrong. <laughs> Literally, this is the first reading we've had to do all stream. Actually, we had one letter to read, but it wasn't terribly long. The Yangala Cola. The Yangala cola is a mushroom without stem that that has a cherry, chewy texture. It is a member of the 
polypote family and grows exclusively on the trunks of certain trees in the Amazonian jungle. While it is edible when young, the Yangala cola has a woody texture and insipid flavour and offers no great culinary appeal. Native Amazonian tribes, however, are very attached to the mushroom. Why they are so fond of the fungus has taken extensive scientific research to educate or I elucidate. Biologists have reached the conclusion that the, ya 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 the Yangala cola contains a special substance that is unique to the mushroom. The substance is sufficient, is significantly affects vision and enhances acuteness enormously. Amazonian Indian hunters discovered this effect and started using it centuries ago. The Angala cola is dried and ground into a powder and consumed before the hunt commences. Oh, it's like jet. It's like jet in um in what's uh, uh, uh Fallout New Vegas. I've got a hair right up my nose. <laughs> At this point, it was like they're throwing words at the wall and hoping that it... Would I switch my glasses out for mushrooms? Could you imagine if I keep on stream? <laughs> no glasses. I, you know, I'd taken the mushrooms before the stream and I was just, just a pro game of my vision. You know, I could see everything. Uh, it's dry to ground. Consumed before the hump uh, commences. Its effect is instantaneous and the penetration... Of the hunters, of the hunters' vision increases extraordinarily. The penetration of their vision. Do they get X-ray vision, or the hunter is then able to aim and hit targets concealed behind thick undergrowth, even over great distances. All right, so they get X-ray vision. Oh, is that it? That's all we had to read, lads. We're good. That's all we needed. Some fucking penetrating vision there. Yeah. All right, I think we're. Um... I think we're done here. I don't want to read any more books, so we'll, we'll leave and then we'll come back later if there's anything else. Back when game developers thought script font in games was a good idea. <laughs> it's the same with fucking Elder Scrolls. I'm like, I can never read what they've written. Ooh. It's always so fuzzy and so low resolution. Is it going to be locked? Oh no! Oh, hello. Look at that fancy mustache on that lad. Whoa. Good day to you, gentlemen. Tell me, young lady, to what do we owe Three this Three sexy pleasure? lads. Please do be brief. We do not have very much time on our hands. Why As do I feel like they should be rhyming? We have serious matters <laughs> to attend to, and our time is precious. They sound very German. I have heard you wish to meet the owner of the train that is currently in your station. <laughs> Feels like they're going to May I know riddle. the reason for your summons? One of us is lying. One of us is telling the truth. Train is not yet left, Miss. The One of us only talks shit. Most regrettable. The rules do clearly state that trains are meant to come and go and not remain stationary at a platform. Well, you can't train spell station stop, without stationary. That is the rule. We agree then, dear colleagues, that what we're dealing with is deviant behavior. <laughs> this matter really is cause for concern. I'm a lawyer. It's a I'm not a deviant. Train, you see? So Kenzie. it needs winding Kenzie, up again. thank you so much for the raid. Thank you very much. No equipment How was your stream? To Welcome in, raiders. A clockwork train? That's what strange. were you playing? How very what were you playing? Quick. My bot you mean it's some sort today. of mechanical toy? Oh, here you we go. Are causing a hindrance to oh, us, how is Toe War? I am today. very hopeful that I will find what I need along the wall. Do you think these the guys will wall? give us money? A miss, that really is not a suitable place for oh, you to go. The wall? Especially for a young lady. Maybe we you can see, ask miss, them for the hundred dollars. We admit that every day we praise the existence of that particular edifice. Praise the wall. We owe the integrity of our dear university and the fine education it provides to the wall. The it wall. protects us from harm and invasion from the unknown. May Praise God be protect the us wall. from what is beyond those ramparts, miss. Please believe me. I don't have any choice. I must continue my journey. Uh, such a decision is a correct one since it's in line with regulations. Thus, your train will indeed be able to leave. And consequently cease to obstruct our station. 
Praise be the wall. Oh, hail the wall. Rome Total War Remastered fighting against the Greeks. How's it going? How's it going? How close are you to defeating the Greeks or are they going to... Are they coming for you, Kenzo? I haven't introduced myself. My name is Kate Walker. Walker, Walker. Haven't we already had a Miss Walker? Ethnology Masters, September 1953, if Couldn't have to me correctly. Perfectly I bet well, they'll know hands. But if I may be so bold, it was a Mr. Walker and not a Miss. It was Bill Walker, sat this June 68 exam. Willie Walker, otherwise the known as. The impudent fool turned up for the oral assessment in jeans. Counting <gasps> strict internal oh, regulations. Sorry. Which Lads, explicitly that just shocks me. State the required uniform for the occasion. I feel a bit sick. Pure incitement. It was scandalous. S Sadly, scandal. we have seen worse since. Young oh my people God. lack all respect they... of traditional values. God. Tradition turning up in One jeans. One must always uphold the tradition. God, I, I for one, I'm, I'm shocked. Turned up to jeans to an in jeans to an oral exam. Kim Willie Walker. We don't we don't even want we're gonna we're gonna change our last name because I don't want to even be associated with Willie Walker. You see, I didn't actually intend to stop here, but the springs of my train gave up. You see. No, not really. Uh, Haley. An you oral one as well. Not a student. You have arrived a little late in the term, Miss. Enrollment for this year has already terminated. But as rectors of this university and therefore representatives of its highest authority, we could bend the rules a little, if you like. If you, you don't like. understand, I'm a lawyer from New York, or rather, Valadilen, more precisely. My client wants to buy out an old mechanical toy factory, but I think we're telling them too much, Kate. Dead, I think this is too and much. And living explanation. somewhere in Siberia, I've got to get to him to sign the sales contract. You see? Not really. This is a most peculiar tale, a kerfuffle of the highest order. We have an excellent law school. If you should ever change, I've already, your mind. I've already passed the bar exam. I don't need to go to school again. Uh, did I pick mission or help? Does the Hans. name Hans Vorlberg mean anything to you by chance? Ah, oh, one of the brightest, most. I thought they were going to say, oh, I turned up in jeans! <laughs> Hans Vorlberg, I remember speaking to him once. I was still a student at the time. He just stared at me, lost in thought for a while. He scarcely ever said a word. But how can one forget him? Idealistic? I'll grant you that, but Bright, oh, don't go too far. He was completely incapable of passing any exams. All he ever did was to sit in on lessons, and not many of them either. Paleontology mainly. He had an <laughs> unhealthy he passion for mammoths, which matched the state of his intellect perfectly. That is to say, prehistoric. <laughs> prehistoric? How dare you? A little far-fetched, maybe. But he did have flashes of intellectual brilliance, comprehensible only to high-minded scholars who hold no score by appearances. Maybe that's just the, the German dear spelling, colleague, Your hasty conclusions are somewhat cavalier. cavalier. My assessment is wholly accurate. The boy was a little odd. You must concur if my father, who was rector of the university at the time, had not shown great indulgence <laughs> towards him. Hans God, whoever's Merle voicing this is enjoying this themselves. Establishment. What about the bandstand, then? Is that the work of a deranged mind? Even after all these years, you are still jealous of Oh, it. he's jealous! My dear <sighs> colleagues, I beseech you. Let's show some decorum. We have a visitor. Uh, what do you want with Hans Vorlberg, miss? Uh, are you a member of his I, Future wife. Future no, wife. No, not at all. <laughs> I'm looking for him to clear up an inheritance he Dinah Burns wall. Is he still here? Mommy will love him what? and daddy, too. Here? At the university? <laughs> no, not at all. He left... A long time ago. Yes, a very long time ago. I can't tell which of them very is speaking. Year I was nominated Maybe it's this, to this one? position, in fact. Almost Three step minded individual. The poor soul <gasps> moved Kenzo on Austin. once he learned all oh, he needed to no, know you have a wonderful mammoths. walk. Ah, I'll see you later. Have good food as well. Thank you very, very much for the raid. Departure, it must be said. See you later. You mean to say it was never as bad? All that Oddball brought to this university was his misplaced Sounding fantasies. Sounding very jealous. Sir. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's try to retain the calm and level-headedness that befits our position. Oh, I can ask them for money! 
All right, we're gonna have to go down. Excuse me. Miss, we find ourselves terribly put out by the presence of your train <laughs> in our station and by its recurrent immobility. Indeed, the situation is very regrettable. God, I hope no one ever your crashes their car in front of this university. They're our the kind of people that would walk out and go, excuse me, you can't park here. Is the rule. Sorry, you can't, you can't park your crashed car here. Oh. That idea of the station aviary is really very original. Give you a ticket, it's the yeah, yeah, yeah. Of our university. You're lying the there like, oh, cool, cool an zoology, ambulance. You see? I'm afraid you can't and park here, that would be a £500 ticket. Ornithology. Proper study and instruction should not be limited to books. Observation of living matter is indissociable from theoretical questions. It contains some very rare specimens that have been brought back from far away exotic countries, especially for our university, by the world's most intrepid explorers. Do Beyond you remember the wall. Alexander Valembois and his peculiar bird? That's Absolutely. not a very nice thing to say his about his wife. Some very embarrassing <laughs> long term consequences. <laughs> a poison chalice, indeed. As long as they tell you past the hospital said, bread. The situation could have been much worse, however. He's the one that brought oh, back the, yes, the cookalus, the cuckalus. Terribly problematic. Okay. Sauvignon. You wouldn't know if there is any forest Sauvignon here in Barakstadt, would Sauvignon. you? Sauvignon. Absolutely. <clears throat> when he says absolutely, he means, of course, absolutely none. Oh, they're liars. What we mean, of course, is that we are absolutely positive there is no forest Sauvignon here in Barachstadt. Really? It's been are over sure? two years. Wow. Because I can't I remember the last time I've seen the sun a number and the food. Of plants. The food she has taken from a hold us. Of some, it's so hard. I, I take I have any food. We were so hungry. Why can't you let us go? Sobs as he eats a donut. To remove and add that donut over, Paragon. Station. Your research will have to wait until and your next stop. Come on. Yes, that's right. Y your train must leave the station immediately, so please refrain from wasting our time in needless visitations. Don't forget the regulations, miss. Don't forget them. Trains should first stop, then subsequently leave. And quickly. He's got a voice that really splits you right through the head, doesn't it? Paragon, thank you so much for 25 months. Thank you very much. And, Paragon, it's Porridge Tuesday. Be throwing you down some slop into the dungeon. Make sure you hand that hand that donut to your nearest mod, though. They'll take care of it. Don't worry. Don't worry, though. They'll take care of it. You'll get it back, I'm sure. Some sailors get it back when you leave the dungeon. The train, but I don't have enough money to pay them. I was wondering if you could help me out. Hand it over. For a while. Come on, hand it over. <laughs> So tell them I could that work for the money no 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 i i know i i don't want to work for the money i don't want to work for it please wait miss we have certain confibulations to attend to. they need 150 dollars right we must confibulate between ourselves no, no, no. wait they need 200 dollars collegiate decision must be taken i hope that we are not indisposing you in any way i need 200 dollars to pay them <clears throat> Why not? Pocket $100. If it helps us get rid of that train. My word, that is a fine idea. What do you have in mind, gentlemen? Hmm. When you arrived here, you must have noticed a splendid bandstand which honors the main university courtyard. Yes. A unique piece of mechanical craftsmanship which no longer works, alas. Why, yes, we have very moving memories of its melodies. We're prepared to offer you a financial reward if you consider working again. With pleasure. What do I have to do? Well, make it work. Unfortunately, my dear, time and rust have taken their toll on this university, and our automatons no longer have a spring in their step. <laughs> <laughs> you Very are going funny. to have to be resourceful. <gasps> to tell you the truth, there are a number of complex mechanisms here in Barakstadt. And it would appear that we have unfortunately lost their operating instructions. Your train, however, is an extremely ingenious invention, so you should be no stranger to complex mechanisms, should you? Uh, we are therefore counting I mean, on your one ingenuity, thing miss. I hope that I can show myself individual. worthy of your faith in me, gentlemen. Well, my dear colleagues, one more university matter nicely tied up. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. Here we are, busy chat chatting, and look at the clock. Chat it's tea chatting. time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, Miss. 
And thank you, gentlemen. I got the riz. The riz. Because I didn't turn up in jeans. What would you call these? Like a, a cargo pant. All right, let's have a look at the bandstand. I think we need an egg for the bandstand. So that's the library. We could pop up here. Can we go up here? Can I have a look at this? Let's have a little peep around. Up here. Kate, you can run up the stairs if you want. You know, no pressure, but you can. Oh, oh, is that guy dead? Sir, are you all right? <laughs> I hope he's okay. Oh no, he's moving, he's moving. Where is he? He's gone. I don't know where he's gone, but he definitely has gone. He wasn't available to talk to me. The music's really nice. No point. It's locked. Okay. Let's get out of here. I think it looks pretty nice for uh, 2002. I was going to say 22. It's pretty nice. I'm surprised they've never they've never remade Siberia. I know they've made some newer ones. Oh, three Sorry. Oh, hello. Lots of radiators around this place as well. Very cold. Hello. Excuse me, sir. Please, just a moment. Oh, we yes, found a silver fox. I'm not deaf, you know. I am sorry to disturb you in your work, She continues sir, to talk like he's deaf. This young mammothus primigenius is barely 40,000 years old. Wow. Fantastic, wouldn't you say, miss? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Probably. What do you mean, probably? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Well, you, you don't know, I see. What can I do for you, my dear child? Give me some money, oh, Professor. Uh, how do I say this? You see, I didn't think we're gonna. We gotta a lot of money trick them all. Out. And it turns out I need money after we'll trick all. Trick them all. We won't tell it's them. It's like when you get know, money from your parents. You're like, oh, mum, can I have twenty quid? Oh, Dad, can I have twenty quid? Mum said. Uh, mum said, ask you. Pleasure, but you see, I barely have enough myself to cover my meager expenditure on what I'm paying. A penny in my pocket is a penny not in theirs. Sorry. I didn't mean to offend or... However, if we look at the example of Hans, it is true that our university always rewards people who perform some service for it. Oh, no, this I'm not I'm not like that, sir. I'm not going to be however. performing a service for you. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't know very much about mammoths, and I'm Why not she here so as loud? a student. She shouts. In fact, to I'm To tell you the truth, I don't it's know anything right. about Nobody's mammoths. Perfect. All the same, the study of the Pleistocene Nobody's perfect. is fascinating. I'm sure it is. We get a but bit I'm more towards to perfection say, the more we know about mammoths. Is totally monopolizing my time. Um, another time, maybe. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, that's what they all say. But anyway, let me present myself. Don't present I'm yourself. Cornelius Ponce, I said I'm not that kind of lady performing any services. I'm at the University of Barhochstadt. I'm proud to say that Ooh, I'm head of the department. He's the guy that's interested that wrote that book, right? Kate Walker. Pleased to meet you. See the fungus guy, or is he the um? He might be the bird guy. I'm not sure which. One of them wrote about fungus and one of them wrote about birds. It wasn't really my intention to stop off here, but I'll confess, this university is really very impressive. Ah, uh, indeed. There's ah. such a tradition of learning here. And so much knowledge, of a real depth of culture, intelligence, and gray matter. I myself did my studies here and never left. Actually, no one I'm leaves the wall. All hail the, the wall. Of the university. Oh, I see. You must have made a mistake on your enrollment form. 
Uh, oh, no, no. I haven't come here to study. I have an important matter of inheritance to attend to. I have to find the heir. And you hope you will find him here? I'm no, not that. Really sure. But you see, my train broke down coming into Barakstad Station. Gosh, she's... I don't know why she idea, speaks like that. My, my train lectures. broke I mean, down! You. Do you know what the Probosidian Order is? The probo -whatian? I you see. There are gaps in your knowledge that need refreshing. Refreshing would suggest that I knew what the probo -sidian Order was prior to coming here. I feel I've lost my way a little here. I could Check out any any time you want, oh, but you can never time. leave the map of the university. I absolutely must <laughs> no one leaves beyond the wall. It's a lecture about mammoths. Oh, yes and oh, no. Oh, thrilling. More specifically, it is about their migration. Wow. Do excuse me. I need to concentrate. Wow. I you know I for one cannot wait for us to go watch that lecture about mammoth migration that I do not doubt that this game is going to have us watch. <laughs> To tell you the truth, I'm looking for Mr. Hans Borlberg. <laughs> I don't He's doubt it's going to have a sit a very unusual a factory. About mammoth migration. My company is in charge of negotiations for the takeover of this An factory. Hour long. <laughs> uh, at last word, he was living in Siberia. So, as soon as my train is ready, I'll be pop quiz continuing my journey it eastwards. Siberia. Ah, Siberia. But, but what was it you said again? Said what? You mentioned a name. The person you are looking for. Vorlberg. Hans Vorlberg. Do you know him? Hans Vorlberg. How could I forget him? Such an extraordinary fellow. So inventive. We shared a passion for mammoths, you know. And oh, is that what we're calling it? Oh, you passion. both got a passion for Without mammoths. It, I confess I would have had little to do with an odd, ageless retard like Hans. At the time, we were both students. Well, so sort of. Uh, put it this way. Hans had special permission to attend paleontology lectures. You see, he didn't really have the necessary qualifications. In exchange, Hans did a few odd jobs around the university. Your Hans Varlberg sounds uncannily like the one I'm looking for. I'm not sure, my dear. Hans was above all questions of money and business. Just to imagine him running a factory, <laughs> perish the thought. Can you tell really me a little like bit more man. about him? <laughs> he was always a mystery to me. He never said very much and never quite seemed to grasp what you said to him. He expressed himself instead through his incredible mechanical contraptions. I'm gonna ask him for his money. His inventions, again. I admit, have been much appreciated by the university. <laughs> I said, just let this old man. He did talk. It was about his strange <laughs> interest for take mammoths. His and a doll. <laughs> Some sort of doll that obsessed him. I don't a like him. doll, you say? Yes. He kept talking about it. One day he described it to me. A sort of children's toy. A miniature mammoth mounted by a mount. It appears he found it in a cave not far from his home. The event all sounds oh, very funnily dramatic. enough, I've actually got that in my, in my train. Oh, confused, fuck, I don't have it in my pocket. Interest in me. What do you mean? I should have left to it in my knowledge, pocket. There was only one tribe who made figurines featuring a mouth, and that tribe is the Yukols. They live in the farthest reaches of Siberia, and for them, the dolls constituted a sacred object, illustrating one of their central legends, how such a doll made the journey from the frozen Siberian north to a cave in the French Alps is a mystery to me. Even today, it is beyond my comprehension. Have you considered that Hans Varlberg was maybe making it up? <laughs> you said yourself he didn't We've literally have all got the doll. Mental facilities Kate. intact. No, that's impossible. Hans Kate, we've got the doll. Like Are you doll sure he was wasn't a, a fucking liar? Siberia legend. He described it to me in exact detail. We've got it. Siberia itself is a chimera that paleontologists of the world are very fond of pursuing. All right. Gonna have, I'm going to have to keep asking him in questions. Arriving in Barakstadt is an amazing experience. I've never and seen And now I like station. to think that Kate is shouting at him deliberately. <laughs> yes, in a kind of clockwork train with a spring mechanism that winds down. I support shouting. Regularly. You mean you drive a train? Young ladies of today never cease to amaze me. Oh, no. I'm not the engineer. 
The train's engineer no, Kate, is actually Kate, don't like, don't... <laughs> I am sorry, all this probably sounds very strange. A clockwork train? Oh, don't, don't be, don't be shocked. I'm not a, not a, a female engineer. God, no. <laughs> it was he who designed the bandstand in the main square. Uh, <laughs> Give you money, He was even <laughs> capable of creating such a gadget. He was astounding, a <laughs> true genius. But oddly, at the same time, he was also... <laughs> oh, I didn't, didn't know ladies could wear trousers <laughs> now, Kate. <laughs> God! You know how ladies never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Can you believe that? Um, oh, dear. Yes. I think I, I can didn't that. listen to anybody just At least said. I'm beginning to. <laughs> Do you want to hear about my train? I have heard, I have heard so much about a train. I don't want to hear anything. My train stopped in a peculiar aviary. It's very odd. A lot of bird species seem to seek harbor there. Ornithology is. Far it's why I'm asking for money because they're, uh, you know, ladies aren't allowed their own like um the own bank accounts. So I'll, I'll, I'll have to ask for some money. <laughs> Would you like to see a picture of my dad? <laughs> see a picture of my dad? breeding there and flourishing. Are there? Can you give me an example? Mm. I have mm. heard about a kind of bird with peculiar hey, habits. Hey, Tootsie, how we doing? Now, Good the, morning. Uh, the Amazon cuckoo. That's right. But, uh, oh, I'm so I can't remember what was so special about it. Just that it's behavior Picture of my is dad. very peculiar. The Amazon? Where's the Amazon? Oh, what so is stupid. Amazon? Why didn't they just call it the Amazon? I'm sorry, my dear. Was it trademarked what by Jeff Bezos already? In a lifetime. Specialization is the key to real knowledge. Why don't you pay a visit to I've our already, library? I've already been. Thank you very much. All right. If I were to say Forest Sauvignon to you, what would you say? You say well, potato. Sauvignon. 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 I would say it's some kind of tropical shrub, don't you think? We are talking about the same plant then. It is a very rare shrub Actually, the key with to small, real knowledge is a really fruits. big encyclopedia. I found a book about the Amazon, and it says <laughs> that there you. are even Sauvignon <laughs> Thank you so much for right 42 months. Thank you. You wouldn't know oh, yeah. where, Thank you, would you so very much. Mm, Amazon Sauvignon plants here. Philia, do you own, no, what was it, the World no, Encyclopedia book we were talking about possible, earlier? But uh, you should ask the station master. He is keeper of the greenhouse at our university, so... He could tell you more than me. I don't know. I don't know whether they're deliberate. Thanks very much. I think, uh... I don't know. I some, I, I feel like some of them are deliberate and some of them aren't deliberate. Um, I... When did this come out? 20... 20... 2002. Oh, the company made... Oh, yeah, wasn't the first game called Amazon or something? A very exotic plant, grapes. Well, I have never tried a grape in my life. <laughs> Too exotic for me. Have we already asked him for money? I think I'll we have. I'll leave you in peace. I hope I haven't disturbed I hope I have. you too much. I know. I hope I have Sorry? disturbed him. No, 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 not at all, my dear child. Kick him in the kneecaps as we go. Right. I think I'm gonna go get the mammoth and go show it to him. If I can. I got an encyclopedia exactly one time in my life, and it was research poison dart frogs. <laughs> that was your animal. What made you pick that animal? I did a, um, I did a, I don't know, uh, like a, a, a project on pink dolphins. Hello? So, you got him then, this air? Ah, it's oh. you, Mr. Marston. Oh, it's Mr. Marston. And, and how are you, it was sir? Dan. I'll feel a whole lot better when this whole business Everyone's is over. Everyone's so fucking rude. The is signed. Where the hell are you? I'm in Bergstadt. What? What in God's name are you doing there? It's a magnificent Worshiping university the wall. town. It would appear Hans Varlberg once passed by here uh, several years ago. So if he isn't there anymore, then there's no point hanging around. I hear what you're saying, sir. But I have good reason to believe that Hans Varlberg is still alive. For the time being, I'm trying to gather extra information from people who have known him. What's your next destination? Yeah, ma'am! I'm not exactly <laughs> sure yet. Doesn't yeah, sound like bedroom. you know too much, Kate. I just need a bit of time, Mr. Morrison. Yeah, well, time is what you ain't got. Keep me posted. Like, I think, I think the game deliberately makes this guy a prick. Like, he's so, he's so deliberately like an asshole. I think they deliberately make Dan an asshole, too. Kate is gonna snap. I'm just so, so sick. <laughs> so sick of these working conditions. Don't get paid enough. 
Oh, it's because they're green. I picked uh, I picked pink dolphins because they were pink. Same um, same choice. <laughs> yeah, whatever accent. All these characters are very skillful in pronouncing French words. That's very true. Maybe all they had to like the job posting was have to be able to pronounce French. Have to be able to speak French. Calm in San Diego with an encyclopedia. Is it a is it a game? What kind of game is it? Is it Haley? Is it Tooth Golem? That's an animal, right? Oh, that's so cute. Oh no, that wasn't supposed to be a close up. <laughs> Hit that by accident. That's so cute. They would play, a, oh, they would hang out and play Carmen San Diego while they were dating. Good on him. I mean, it's better than some dates, right? Not the worst date I've ever heard someone being on. It is the tooth golem, I thought so. I thought so. Pick that up. Like, you know, what's a what's a worse date? Like going to do your taxes is a pretty bad date. I suppose unless you're an accountant and you're really into tax forms, maybe it would be a good date. Snails. Do snails have teeth? No, they don't. No, they don't. 90s game where you collect clues and solve a big historical mo Ooh! Solve who stole big historical monuments. Well, it was clearly Nicolas Cage, wasn't it? Yeah, Amelia! That, like, Yakuza. Which one have you been playing? Oh, oh I hate that. I, I, oh no, where are they? Kiwami 2. How are you finding it so far? How cute zoom cam on bad forehead. I know, my sweaty, sweaty forehead. I definitely overestimated how cool it would be. Where do they put all those teeth? Where have they got them? Are they do they keep them in their shell? Do they put them on their like are they on their bellies? Like where are we putting those? Would an encyclopedia confirm this fact? In their mouth. Uh, snails don't have mouths, Brad. The cop girl is super growing on me. Their story board has felt a little weird. They're focusing on this lion dude opposing Kiru when he hasn't even been there half the time. Oh, we see the blonde guy. Ophelia. They do have mouths. I guess how would they eat the um how would they eat cabbages if they didn't have mouths? Yeah, he's the blonde guy. Yeah, I didn't I didn't love the big uh, the the bit the because he's really tall, isn't he? The big blonde guy. Munching away on the glass. Oh how are your uh, how are your shrimp bread? Look, here's some um here's a mammoth toy. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. Professor I have brought you something that should be of interest to you. <laughs> Get out. Look. What have you got there, then? Let's see. An effigy of a mammoth. But this is Hans doll, is it not? Yes, of course it is. God, how, how quickly do they you... bang? Oh, my God. It's in my hands. It exists. It really hands. exists. Please, please do excuse me. I'm, I'm deeply deeply moved you see your hands and my Varlberg air are one and the same well they've this literally got the same incredible. name after all of course these they're the same. years how can I ever thank you my dear well, well, I'm not giving you I this must waste no time I'm off to my laboratory I must study this carefully may I borrow your treasure a moment uh well actually uh no Don't worry miss I will take no, the you can't. Care of it. Yeah, you just stole it. I'm just to being... study it. 
fucking thief. See, Stop right there, criminal scum. This very afternoon, I shall deliver an impromptu Oh, no, I am going to have to watch his lecture, this lecture, aren't I? Object. If you are interested in Hans Vorlberg, then it is essential that you attend. No? Do you think so? Obviously. Give me your telephone number, and I will call you the moment my lecture begins. I will return you your doll at the end. You have my word. It's not a doll, Mom. The anime figures. <laughs> Ask him to pay. <laughs> you have to pay me for my time, sir. I just broke in. Don't know if I was supposed to come in here. Let's have a look. He just wanted my number. Gonna <laughs> talk Oh, oh! We got a thingy, Bob. Bob, we got a a a a blue, 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 a bluey. What else we got? Anything else to steal? He steals from me. I'll steal from fucking him as well. Doesn't seem like anything else. Can I check any of these? Oh, I don't just have one female shrimp. How long's the gestation period for a shrimp? Red. Can I steal that? Yeah, I fucking can. Oh, and some pliers. What else we got? What we got? We got a test tube holder, a hook, and a Yangala cola powder. What was that about? I'm not reading again. Isn't that the mushroom? Oh, that's the mushroom that makes, that makes us high, isn't it? Isn't that the that the that's the shrub that gives a uh, gives a really good vision? I don't really want to talk to that guy again. I'm sure he's not going to have anything to say. I'll come back later. Yeah, vision and enhancement—the one that gives us X-ray vision. I still remember when my mum called my anime figures dolls. I've never really gotten over it. Oh. I'm gonna show. I'm. I'm gonna show the the rectums. I'm gonna show them my powder. I'm gonna show them the mushroom powder. Oh, this is my, this isn't where they live. Call your models figurines. What are your little figurines? I suppose that's not too bad. It'd be worse if they called them. Trinkets. <laughs> Have you painted more of your trinkets? Another box for my trinkets. Little dolls, yeah. The gentleman, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little, little problem. Painted trinkets. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. <laughs> Nor trains from leaving stations. Oh my god. You haven't paid me yet. Um, I'm gonna go down. I haven't introduced myself. I have introduced Perfect myself. Pure I tra have. I definitely have. Could I possibly leave? Out of the question. Trains should first stop, then subsequently, subsequently leave. leave. Perform a deep. Uh, can you pop? Miss, your insistence is almost verging on indecency. Oh, indecency. We cannot constantly be at it's your like disposal. I'm jeans. We have many other requests. Indecent. If you don't mind. Uh, does the name? Oh, uh, oh God. Okay. What about my... No, no. What? The uh, name. Gen... Here we are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, piss. I'm not done talking to you. Come back. Hold the station hostage. The gentleman. Forget a little they are no uh train have i already talked about train but that idea it's the pride of our university it a boy oh i didn't show them the mushrooms no if there is any absolute <clears throat> what we really out of the assist yes that's right yeah don't forget the money are you it, it is currently the all right here we are already thank you and thank All right, I'm gonna show him the mushrooms. All right. Ooh. They don't want. They don't want any of my stuff. Go. Oh, hello. 
Excuse me, Kate Walker. It's the rectors here. How are you getting on moving the train blocking the whole university station? Well, I was going to, but I thought I'd just go and watch a lecture instead. I got invited. I got invited. So one of your professors stole my doll and uh, said I had to go and watch his lecture if I wanted it back. So, you know, who's, whose fault is it, really? Whose fault is it? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's see. Let's see what are we haven't spoken to the station master for a little bit. Go through the door, Kate. And to be fair, I'm only blocking part of the station. There's still one lot of tracks that's open. And like, how many people are fucking passing through here anyway? Like, this isn't like it's a fucking bustling station. Where was the station master? Is he down here and round? I think he was standing by the water on like a little bit of a beach. Hello. I'm sorry to disturb you. What can I do for you, miss? Dad, you know where? Where might I find some forest sauvignon plants, please? No place around here, that's for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff's from the Amazon. <laughs> you know, oh. for someone who knows oh, he's nothing lying. about the plant, Lads. you seem pretty well informed about which mysterious faraway country it comes from. Oh, well, I'm Amazon, Peru, Papua, New Guinea, it's all the same to me. <laughs> Gotta go. Gotta work. Oh! Wait, he's not. not look. Wow, look at them thighs, oh, lads. I don't think he was being totally straight with me. All right, follow him, Kate. Follow him. Oh, they're cute, Fred. Are they all different sizes? There's a train full of students that have been stuck at a signal down the line for the past three hours. Well, fuck them. They could have walked here in those three hours. Fuck them kids. <laughs> right, where's he gone? I wonder if the rectums have anything to say about the, uh, the guy. I want to try over here as well, because I've got a sneaky suspicion where the plants might be. Maybe he's going to be standing there waiting. Looks like a monster compared to the newest baby. Do they ever eat their babies, Fred? Odd question, I know, but just, like, just kind of curious. Are they like hamsters? Never quite gotten over the fact that hamsters eat their young. They look so innocent. They all need to watch that lecture to pass the exam. Fuck them kids! Oh, Herbert, what kind of cake? I think it's past here. I can't go there. The, poli the cake police. You were free from the cake police for today. But next year, next year. Next year might be a different story. Unless they're already dead. I mean, yeah, that, that, I suppose that's better, but I also hate that. I also hate that, Fred. Ah, he's already dead. Might as well have a snack. Hmm. Just cleaning up. Fred, could you get one of those uh, those shrimp that clean the you know the the ones from Finding Nemo that clean the um clean the aquarium? Just left the worst voicemail of my life. <laughs> oh, I hate leaving voicemail. Why are leaving voicemails so embarrassing? It's so embarrassing. Like, hello, yep, yeah, yeah. If you could just could you just give me a call back? That would be that that'd be great. Thanks. Why is it so mortifying to leave one? Thanks, I guess I'll call back later. Yeah, like, how do you leave off a voicemail? Because you can't be like, bye! No, you hang up first. 
No, you hang up first. Then I didn't give my phone number. Oh shit. So they can't call you back. I suppose you could you could ring back and be like, hi, I just left a message. Uh here's my phone number. I don't know, is that make it weirder? Because what if they li they listen to them in the wrong order? If I fill my house with salt water, can I get a shrimp to clean? <laughs> oh, I don't have a salt water tank, but I could get clean shrimp. <laughs> I'm making personal requests now, Brid. Could you get could you get one of those shrimp that do this? Whether any of you want to talk to me. Does anyone know why the station master is lying Excuse to me? me. <clears throat> Can I disturb? No. Oh, you keep okay. All right, he does not have anything to say. And then one thing I hate about leaving voicemails is that when the person inevitably rings you back, they ring you back at the most in inopportune moment. They ring you back when you're like on the toilet or something. So then they have to leave you a voicemail and they're like, yeah, um, could you call me back? Of when you're done, and then you call them back, and you get their fucking voicemail again. And you're like, can you call me back? And then next time they call, you're in the shower or something, and then they you know, you just end up with like six phone calls of you each call calling each other, not getting each other. You should call me back. No, could you call me back? Thought you sounded really cute on answer phone. What if it's just the automated answer phone? Yeah. <laughs> You've got to wash your shrimp. <laughs> oh dear. A gentleman, forgive me for disturbing you again. A little problem, a little problem. They are no. I've got a problem that your fucking station master's a you little wouldn't liar. Know if there is any forest sauvignon here in Barakstein. Liar. Absolutely. <clears throat> when he says absolutely, he means, of course, absolutely none. What we mean, of course, is that we are absolutely positive. Because I think they really? told me, are you the sure? professor Out asked me. The, the assistant. Yes, that's right. Y your train must leave the... Don't forget. Here we are. All right. Thank you. And th Maybe it's something I've got to do in the right order. Because the professor told me to talk to the rectors about it. Approach the council. <laughs> they are so annoying. These lads were in an uproar that someone wore jeans to their oral exam. They always call me when I'm on the toilet. Well, it does, uh, it does happen that I'm on the toilet for quite a large percentage of my day. Like, probably more than normal people, but... Oh, I always hate it when you're waiting for someone to call you back. And what do you... Like, what what happens if you need, you need the loo while they're waiting? Can I go in? No point. It's locked. Oh. <laughs> Leave voicemails of the inner dialogue will transfer aggressively. I've had it checked out, don't worry. I've had it checked out. Oh, Bree, thank you! Is it in pets or is it in food? What is it you want to? I would like to if know I about were this. To say Oh, let's see. Sauvignon. We are talking about the same. Mm, Amazon Sauvignon plants here? No. No, I don't think there are any. Highly implausible. But uh, you should ask. Oh, I have asked the station master. Uh, I have. Sorry? No, no. I have asked the station master. Let's go back to the station master. And isn't it rude if we need to wear hats indoors as well? They should know better. That's indecent, hmm? Oh, and a special cushioned toilet seat. I kind of like that, but I'd be worried about washing it. That's a, this is all the green screen digits. This is I'm actually in my bathroom right now. I have to work really hard on the audio. So it doesn't sound like I am. Run, Kate. Run, Kate. Run, run, run. We're going to head back to the station master. Like I see people with um, kind of like a plush fabric toilet seat. And I just, I feel like my poops are too aggressive for that. Oh, there he is. Hello.
Excuse me, stay. Can't you see? Mm. Mine? I'm looking for a kind of little juicy berry. <laughs> juicy you don't berry. know where I could find some? Look, lady. That's what I call you, Mom. have any Sauvignon berry, not even for Sauvignon. Funny you should mention it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Forest Sauvignon. Uh, Sauvignon, raspberry, the red currants, they're, they're all the same to me. And we don't grow none of them here. <laughs> but you see, I have just read a very interesting book, which says that the rare Sauvignon berry is actually cultivated oh, here. Oh, yeah, it did say that, didn't it? the famous University Avery itself. Wow. Yeah, Baroque it's salt. Book, then. <laughs> don't believe everything you read, Liz. I don't know why. But I don't think you're telling me the truth. What do you mean? I think they're I hoarding know. their I grapes. I know where to find your stupid grapes. Go ask your professor, what his name, Pond, the paleontologist. But you're the master of this station, so you should know better than anyone. Nobody tells me anything. I don't know. Go see the old guy with the fossil. All right. I won't just welcome. This is like some kind of deranged fetch quest. Fetch quest. I was like, oh no, I don't know why I, I don't have any grapes. No wine here. Yeah, it's gonna be awful to clean. And like, I don't, I know some people use reusable toilet paper. And they're like, oh, just put it in the wash afterwards. I don't know, like, I, I don't want poo going around in my washing machine. I don't, I don't know whether that's just me, but I don't want, I don't want that. I don't. I just kind of, I, like, honestly, like a small bit of poop is fine. You know, like, oh, you know, a skid mark is okay, right? It's just a little bit of poop. But like the sheer amount of poop that you'd have on reusable toilet paper, it's just, it's, it, I just. Wash it in the sink first. I don't want poop in my sink and I would you use your hands. It's a, uh, it's like they, like, um, like, I guess microfiber cloth, reusable toilet paper. The sheer amount of poop. I just wouldn't, like, I feel like it would clog up my pipes. What is it you want to know? You wouldn't know where the. F uh, why do you think there are Sauvignon plants? Because the bloody station I master read about sent it in me a book here. In the uh, try going to see the station master. If such a shrub exists, really he will have a better idea than anyone. The station master, he sent me it's to you. It's actually he who sent me to you. I thought it a little strange, but he definitely yeah, said to ask go the paleontologist. Machine, right? You know, you're the only one here, aren't you? Yes, yes, indeed. What a strange way to behave. Well, oh, it's I, supposed um, to be paired with a bidet. I think he must oh. have made a mistake. That's all. Nobody tells me anything here. Maybe you should ask the rectors. After all, they are in charge of. All right, I'll leave. Right. Sorry. Thank you. When I've seen it online, it was not people pairing it with a bidet, though. And like, just wouldn't it? So you're supposed. To... So the people that I've seen. I've seen it. See, see people. Like go to reusable toilet paper, it's better for the environment, which I'm all on board with. But they just they have a bin next to their toilet where you put the you put the poop you put the the poop poop rag in after you use it. I just I just can't I can't imagine the smell would be very good. Like I know you could wash it once a day, but you're not going to be washing it every time you poop, right? Because the idea is that you you. You put the poo rag in the top the bin, and the poo rag rag sits in the bin until the bin is full, and then you put the bin in the washing machine. I like imagine having guests. Imagine having guests, and you're just like, oh, yeah, just use the use the towels, and then put the put it in the put it in the bin. Just out of the shower, honestly. Like, I think, I think I'd rather, like, I just, like, I just, it's just the amount of poop that would go in your washing machine. And I'd be worried that, that, like, it would, it, it would, it then, you know. Yeah, if you've got the barely need to wipe poops. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I could get on board with that. Mm, 
Yeah, I know. Uh, isn't it some Greek islands have the like the the poo bins? The, 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 not the poo bins, but you know you put, put toilet paper in the bin instead of down the pipes. I I would feel, I would feel very self conscious, especially if I'd had a bad evening, you know. And like you know, particularly when I'm on holiday, I can't be like, oh, I can't eat onions, can't eat garlic because it's gonna give me the shits. Because you know, restaurants just are like garlic and onions and everything. So I know I'm gonna get the shits almost every night. When I'm on holiday, um, or constipation, either way, because I get nervous shitting and in not in my home toilet, so it kind of, you know, maybe sometimes balances it, balance itself out. Um, I just, I, I think I would like a romantic, you know, romantic weekend away. Oh, it's really nice until you go into the toilet, and you know, I've just been in there, had a really awful stomach, and had to put my poop poop in the bin just it would just it would it would be it would be a nightmare it would it, it's my nightmare yeah at someone's house and they only have reusable toilet paper it's a, it's a nightmare yeah like i i understand it and i i'm all for helping the environment but i am a, i'm very nervous shitter <laughs> and i think that would just push me over the edge you know i guess i guess if you're really into if you're really into poop that might be, you know, you're booking your flight now. You're like, wow, all right, Badge, this sounds like... A gentleman, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. It would just it would push problem, me over the edge. A little problem. I couldn't do it. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself. No. All right. Are you sure there are no Amazon Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt? Because I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist, yeah. and what they said like really twice. didn't convince me that there a wasn't bidet. any here. I'm on board with the bidet. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. You see, miss, the Amazon forest Sauvignon is a rare shrub. That's that why it's so humid. Very special conditions for growth in the station. That's right. Uh, conditions that are very hard to reproduce. Believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, fortunately, our garden has been off. very How successful. How was it, Digits? Is Your it garden? as bad as I think it is? So, there is a garden in Barakstadt? Oh, the garden. Well, if there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station master would be very would proud he? of it. Would he? He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. <laughs> and we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. Oh, really? You What's wouldn't? the paleontologist got to do with it all? Without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? Oh, yes, a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy responsibilities. Mm. We would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the God, year's I produce. really like hyping so, this up. If I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station, then turned into wine by the paleontologist's oh, really really? care. And I wonder finally, if it's the Victorian, the um, of Victorian plumbing. is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating <gasps> oh! here. Miss, you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. Oh, do we I? We never said We are that. a lawyer as That's well. That's not what we said at all. We are the law here. Uh, we, we, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and so woulds. So well, if I would, would find out about this, I might I put you in jail. Hmm, you if. would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Oh, would I? Yes, if, if you would be so kind as to keep it a secret. <laughs> it would only be a small local concern producing barely a few bottles Why can't I blackmail year. them? That's right, nothing you so know, why grandiose I pay, like, as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be They're making me fix fine. their shitty clock. So we can't count or whatever it is in the... Why, why am I having Don't to fix worry, their shitty I clock? I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. Why am I not just blackmailing them? Like, you know, give me your money or else I'll tell every... Or I'll tell the police about your Savignon. Here we are. And thank... Operation. You know? I feel like I got I got something to... Why am I even helping? You know, give me the money. Give me the money. I'll move my train. And I won't tell the police. 
about your illegal racketeering operation. You know? Is this a steampunk alternative history? Kind of, yeah. It's, um, so this is Germany, but not Germany. It's all fake places that are kind of like real places, but aren't real places. And um, there's this one company that makes automatons. And we are looking for the guy that we thought was dead. But turns out isn't dead. And everywhere we go, we find he's kind of left his automatons here. Fake Germany? That's a real Germany. <laughs> What's the country that everyone says is not real? Is it like, is it New Zealand or something? This is how, exactly how every village here looks. Giant mammoths and a university. Which Disney cartoon series do I still have to watch? Oh, I, I don't really... I, I have to admit, I don't really watch a lot of Disney cartoons anymore. I don't, don't really watch them anymore. Automatons. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much, Alien. Good morning. Good morning. They're not robots. Not robots. They get upset when you call them robots. The bicycles are all at the bottom of the canal. Hello. Excuse me, Station Master, but I... You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I've never seen your sauvignon thing. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and cahoots. the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Blackmail them. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey, lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, you honest. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. I think it is Can a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? <laughs> sure, sure. No problem. Right away, miss. I think, I think it might be a crime. I've got a feeling that smuggling, that's a crime. That's, that there is a crime. Racketeering? Another crime. Um, <laughs> illegal alcohol distilling? I think that's another crime as well. Yeah, she's like, just open, just open the garden. Open the garden for me. There we are. Please feel free to visit the garden at your leisure. And if uh, uh, there was just one thing... I, Wine I isn't distilled. Wine, not really then that makes you think, what are they distilling then? There is a reputation in the university to think about. And I have superiors and I have to do what I can. I understand. Don't you worry. Oh, thank you, miss. Hang on. Oh, he's got... He's off. Wow, he's got long fingers. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I totally understand. Totally understand, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not going to report it to anyone. Yeah, suggest that. Suggest that also doing something else, right, Open? Whiskey, rum. They said, you know, it just, it's a gateway crime. This making their own rum. Uh, wine is a gateway crime. They're distilling piss. Bear grills. <laughs> is it nice though? Oh, is that the berries? Berries. Making your own wine is a crime. I'm a tattletale. Watching Ruby did a great way gateway crime. I don't know what you mean. We never do crime here. Hmm. You make up just so many gallons per per, per year for your personal consumption. What about in America? Uh, not America, fuck. Germany. Germany. 
own wine. Can you brew, brew? Your own wine, uh, Germany. Brewing is not illegal in Germany. However, you have to register with the city hall of the town you'll be living. If they are doing a crime. This is a crime. This is a crime, lads. Where's the crime pack? Oh, we're not doing anything illegal. When we cleaned out my grandma's basement, we found shelves and shelves of wine. Oh, my grandfather made. Did you drink them? I'll make sure to throw my, <laughs> my fruit out on time next time before I make any wine. You don't, you don't want to be arrested. Yeah, the brewing, fermenting your own, own alcohol is illegal. I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I want to give the birds the grape. It was the worst one I ever tasted. How old was it? Is that rotting grapes I smell? In prison for you. You get in the prison. Oh my god, they couldn't have animated them a little bit better? <laughs> Toilet wine in prison. I guess at least they're not using reusable toilet paper. Toilet wine. I, you know, I guess if you like, you put some fermented grapes in and you can toilet, toilet wine. Oh, impossible to reach it. Is this the, um, oh, it's the mechanical eagle. That's fun. Um, I'll use the, the pincers. I can fucking use the pincers! Pincer, pincer, and for some reason I've now dropped the pincers. I don't need them anymore. They're done. They're gone. Oh no, bread. That sounds like when I try to make sauerkraut. Absolutely impossible, bread. It's, it was impossible. Sounds like when I tried to make sauerkraut that it, uh, remember my sauerkraut popped. It didn't explode, luckily I got to it in time, but. All right, now run, Kate, run. I know exactly where this cuckoo's egg's gotta go. It's gotta go in the bandstand, because remember it had that egg balance? It just, it leaked, it seeped. Did it taste good though, bread? Did you? You had to have tasted some of it, right? Yeah, miss, miss, miss. Yes? You know, I want to apologize for our little misunderstanding. <gasps> I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I brought you a lot more wine. Barakstadt Sauvignon. Very good year. Let me know what you think. I'm very touched. Thank you. Good luck on your journey. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. Oh, right. Illegal. Another in a fragrant disregard for the law in this town. Oh, it was just really dry. I wasn't a fan. You just add a little bit more water to make it a bit more wet. It was a really shit year. <laughs> Maybe he's lying to me. Yeah. I'm 
not a big fan of wine. Where was it? This side? I think it was. Yeah, I knew it. Oop. Oh. And now we spin. Did I fix it? Like, honestly, if it was this easy to fix, why couldn't they have just put, like, some kind of weight on it? That weighed enough that, uh, weighed, weighed the same as a cuckoo's egg. Oh, <gasps> bread, yes, please get beehives. That's another, oh, it's another request. A cleaning shrimp and beehives, please. The honey would be amazing. That's kind of look funny, doesn't it? I wonder if I was supposed to organize these. Oh, you see? Look, it's supposed to play a little tune. Oh! Didn't know if I was supposed to organize the blocks so it made a noise. Only Hans knows truly how much those eggs weigh. Clean of shrimp and beehives and a pool, bread. Scrumptious little man looking fly as hell. <laughs> they do have nice little top hats on. Alright, I guess we go back to the rectums and now tell them that we fix their Tell them that we fix their bandstand so they can give me some give me money. <laughs> right. Will the mechanism break again when the egg breaks? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but then I won't be here anymore, Herbal, so they can't come after me for them for any uh, for any money they want back. The egg also rot. Which will be really nice. I can give them the pincers. And they're like, yeah, I fixed it, yeah, permanent fix, yeah. Definitely worth your hundred dollars. Hello, this is the police. Hello. We are charging you with receiving illegally smuggled goods. Oh, you shit! You do not have to say anything. But, it may harm your defense if you do not mention... It was a bribe! ...something which you later rely on in it court. It was an illegal... It, it was a, it was a bribe. may be given in evidence. I accepted Come a bribe. Me, please, That's... It, different crime. <laughs> different crime. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pixels. Thank you. It was a, it was a little bribe. <laughs> a gentleman... Forgive me for disturbing a little problem. They are no. All right, I uh, give me my Gentlemen, money. Gentlemen, I have managed to repair your university Gentlemen. bandstand. Gentlemen, the bandstand is playing again. This is marvelous news. We are really very grateful, very grateful indeed. Yes, very grateful indeed. We will look back on your visit with much fondness in our hearts. Yeah, you are accessories. And to now the let us in turn honor our word. How much is it you need? Three hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. If it's not too much to ask. I'll pick Kate and keep some for yourself. Three hundred dollars. <throat> we agreed to grant you the aforementioned sum, miss. You may now leave with your train. Oh, there we go. Oh, they just gave it to me in pennies. Nice. And while we're on the subject, when will you be leaving? Uh, yeah. Here we are. Th and... I think we've been like a really uh what's the word? We've been whizzing, we've been steaming. I like the train pun. Um through these puzzles we've been doing pretty well. Accountant she is not, no. Taffer she is not either. Let's go. Let's go give uh, give some money to those that love that lovely couple. Who are definitely not rizzing me for my money. Okay. And maybe a technician will be back on the uh, on the phone line now. Ah, uh, they're down here. Ooh, ooh. 
Money first, then lock second. Keep them trapped here so they have to they have to help me. Hello! I have some money for you! You can tell because it's in a big swag bag. There you go. Here's your money. I've checked it. It's all there. Just <laughs> fucking chuck it at them. Ah, thank you. Not difficult to get dollar. See? You are a real businesswoman. <laughs> I'm not the only one around here. We please to do deal with you. Now, you open lock or we no help you. Why didn't you manage to open them? After so all, you don't have to be a genius. So rude. So rude. Ma what to decline, madam. Something declined. Mara Alice don't comprendo in Alora Capo. Something didn't understand. There's far more. Telephone. Boom, telephone here in Capot, Capot. Telephone My broken. My husband say instructions complicated. No understand manual. My husband angry. Very angry. Oh, now telephone broke. Kaput. Oh, you broke that it. That is annoying. Oh my God, what he are you broke it because he got angry, lads. We wait, repairman. Well, I don't have the time to wait. I'll have to go have a look. There must be some way of releasing the opening mechanism. Take key. Seller always <gasps> need key for lock. Now they have to slowly throw it to me. One. Uh, uh, and it will fall on the floor, and I'll have to bend over and pick it up. Okay, thanks. Slowly walk over, bend over. Get up. Right, put it in my shirt, and off we go. It's like, uh, so Greg calls them Nintendo minutes. Like when um, Nintendo extends your gameplay with kind of like useless um useless animations like they make make things so slow kind of almost to extend your gameplay kind of like that oh hello hello hey how's my little baby girl oh I'm mom can i have some money because i saw this fantastic fur coat you are wrapping up warm aren't you I mean, people in foreign countries never know how to dress properly for the weather. Mom, it's so sweet of you to worry, but I'm fine, really. The trip's a breeze, no worries. I mean, I mean there's... Well, when are you coming back? Frank is dying to meet you. Frank? Oh, yeah, you're a singer. You Frank! Sing Spelt like... Oh, how the fuck are they spelling Frank? F-R-A-N-C-K. Frank in Frank! Frank! That's not how you spell Frank! Organized by, oh, uh, uh, well, someone or another. Uh, anyway, they got him singing a couple of old numbers from his repertoire, and in the end, he asked now. me to go up on stage with him. Can you imagine me, your mother, on stage in front of thousands of people? You've seen it before. Well, in real I would life, love to have been there. Not too emotional, I hope. Oh, too emotional by far, especially as I hadn't even been to the hairdresser. Well, I didn't even have the proper dress on. But Frank promised me he'd see to that next time. Oh, he's such a cutie. And he's such a sweetest little. I'm sure Penis. he has, Mom. Penis. It would be so good if you could join us one day. She was about to say penis. When is his next gala? I'm so forgetful these days. I swear I'd lose my head if it weren't in the clouds. You just watch out, my girl. Them years will pass up with you much quicker than you think. I suppose so, Casey I'll look out J. for them, Mom. Right. Nice to hear your voice. Lots of love. I guess we'll it's, um... To my little munchkin. It becomes, uh, kind of a, a slowing down of the narrative. Especially when you've seen them throw something. Like, you've, you've just had to witness the really slow throw. Not common, but I've seen it. Like dick fingers all over again. Oh yeah, GIF. GIF. I feel like GIF, GIF is a little bit more common than Frank. Frank. 
Don't forget John, John and John as well. Um, what are our other ones? Oh, um... Oh, God, what was the funny one? I thought... Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Gem. <laughs> Jim. Thanks for the gem. Unlock that. What were the numbers I had to press again? The instructions are written in a language I don't recognize. The inst Hang on. I may need to read this again. Two six two seven six 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 seven four two. Two seven six 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 seven. Oh, it's the French way. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Frank. Oh, press the number sign. Oh, press the number sign. If you are using the Holtenberg lock, press 1. If you are using the Morloff lock, press 2. Four. If you want to raise Ashley. the water level, press Spelt 1. Spelt with two A's. If Wait, what did she say? Two. You want to lower the water level yeah, I do. in the barrack to confirm your choice. Press star. Your request has been logged. Unfortunately, our regional technician is currently on holiday and no replacement is available. Please operate the lock system your... manually. What were the numbers that I pressed on the phone? Yeah, was it 4-2? Is that gonna be the Jimmy Jam? And then Star? Oi! Star to confirm. Nice, did I win? Will they just... Will I have to tell them? High IQ, STEM-minded individual. I like that one time with the thing's legs where I tried everything. Oh my god. Yeah. I tried every one and it was the last one that I tried. For his poor legs. Jeez. I used to get asked, is that with one T or two? Oh, with one T. I always see Scott spelled with one T. It's like, a, you know, you're calling someone a Scott, like Scottish. It was right after I left. I bet you were painfully watching me try every single hey there. one. On the boat. Guten Tag, schöne Mademoiselle. Plants are stem-minded individuals. My husband says, hello, young lady. Thank you want to talk Thank to you. Us? It's a good one. Right, I've got it. I know now how the locks work. So guide your boat into the lock, and I'll take care of the mechanism. Gott verdammt. Das ist eine echte ladies. He's speaking a bit of French as well, sir. What did your husband say? You, hurry up. We hurry to travel again. Okay, okay. We'll meet each other on the other nah, side. Nah, it's a mix of different Buy languages. Yeah, okay. German, French, Dutch. A bit of some kind of uh, Slavic language. A bit of... Um, Uh, a bit of Scandinavian as well. Yeah, once in a while, it throws a bit of Spanish in there. I think it's just—I think it's supposed to be like European language. Maybe this is what Americans think. Like people speak like in Europe. You know how some sometimes, sometimes um, I I see a lot of memes about how some people in America will say, "I'm going to visit Europe," and you're like, "Okay." Where in Europe are you going? Like, you know, where, where, where in Europe? Because <laughs> Europe is quite large and it'll just be, I'm going to Europe. And it could be literally, it could be London or it could be like Croatia. So maybe they're making, maybe they're making a funny 
Maybe it's supposed to be like a funny that kind of like on that, but it's just it's just Europe, you know? Ah Maybe that's the direction they were supposed to they're trying to go in. Yeah, they're going to America or the US, and you're like, what part? That's true. Yeah, Europe is a bit smaller. But very, very varied. Very varied. Everyone drives on the wrong side of the road. England drives on the right side. I couldn't think of the furthest point in Europe that was... Uh... Uh, like from from the UK because the UK is like one side of Europe. Is ice? No, a stupid question. Ice is not fucking Europe, is it? Oh, Ophelia, surviving fake real junk <laughs> and doing fake real crime. Ophelia, you have a good meeting, all right? Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, and thank you so very much. Forty-two months. Oh, yeah. It's weird how everything in Australia is upside down, isn't it? They wanted me to unlock the locks, but I've, I've done it. Now, how do I attach attach to train? Um. Have to work the lock again. Oh, I probably have to raise it. Ass out Aussies. Is that you got guys walking around with assless pants on? That's not a thing, is it? You guys are just not like just every day. Is it because Australia is so hot? Susan's having a nice nap. They're waiting in the lock for the slow American. I didn't know what they wanted me to do. Shit, keep fucking clicking out. Bloody game. It's such a small window. It's like I'm playing through a keyhole. All right, so I presume... Oh, what was up? Was it one? A petite seat. Seat. Imagine if they just fucked off with my money. I'd be so mad. A tiny tush. A burly there bottom. I presume I go around this way now. I want to go speak to Oscar as well. I was going to use B. I couldn't think of anything for ass, like a an acute ass. There we go. Put the B in CBT. Hello, Oscar. Everything okay, Oscar? Yes, Kate Walker. The university authorities want us to move the train out of their station. According to internal regulations, trains are designed for coming and going, not staying at platforms. Did I did A and B. Kate Walker. However, our train is unique, and its clockwork mechanism has requirements that are beyond the oh, station's urban. rudimentary equipment. And your haircut. Hey, that's not their problem, Oscar. Mow the lawn. The Everything's getting, also beyond getting, my getting his haircut. Kate Walker. Oh, we'll see Whatever. you later. Make sure you got that fresh fade for the UK. 
Ask her? In a while. That's what we call it here. Right. Oh, I don't have my... I was going to put my... Can I put this away? Yeah, I haven't I haven't had a haircut since um, the first lockdown, I don't think. I just, you know, now now I now I've made a kind of a rule of it. Now I'm not going to stop. All right, let's go deal with this and then I started streaming and stopped getting haircuts. <laughs> when I next get my haircut, you know, the stream's stopping. Hey there! On the boat! Oh, I do know he has loads. March on other side! You still need Lock up. down, lock up, lock down, lock up, lock down. What do we do now to tie my train to the barge? Mademoiselle Takatak. Loco Coco Mitchell. Loco Coco. What did your husband say? You attach chain. I'm really worried that he's going to say something really rude and I'll up. repeat it just because it's in a different oh, language and I don't know. Oh. Everyone's got unnervingly long fingers in this game as well. Oh. Can I pick it up? Oh, it's over here. I see. I see. <laughs> That's going to work. Looks like something's missing. I knew it. I knew it. Okie hokey. Bitty bum, a compact cushion. Oh, an eensy epicenter. I was trying to think of something, um, like I feel like petite poop shoe is the, like the best, best of both worlds. Petite poop shoe. Long fingers like they're thieves or something. The thieves have long fingers. Victoria or Australia had the most days in lockdown over the world. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many days we had. I seem to seem to be. A, I can't tap out to have a look because of Hello, Kate Walker here. Miss Walker, this is Professor Park. I'm about to start my lecture on Hi. you called at any moment. Please make haste to come. No! Okay, I'll he wants me to go to his lecture! Excellent. We'll be in the main lecture hall. See you soon. I think that'll do us for this week. Um... <laughs> I think that'll do us for next week. I think uh, This week, I think that's a gift. That's a gift that we're going to give future Badger. That's a gift, isn't it? Yeah. A nice lecture about mammoths is exactly what next week Badger will want. I'm going to wake up on Tuesday and I'm going to go, Cool, blimey, you know what I could go for? A fucking mammoth lecture today. Lectures are fun. Lectures are fun, exactly. So I never missed a single one at university. Not a single, single one. Hang on, let me see. Um... Yeah, we did uh, We did move the train out of the station and block the track instead. <laughs> See, the thing is, is, I don't, like, how, if we're not contacting anyone to let them know that our train is on the track, how are we not, like, <laughs> make, you know, this is just a recipe for train collision. Yeah, it was quite a few months, I think, we were in lockdown. There's no, like, apparently it ended in November 26, 2020, interestingly enough. Oh, most lockdown restrictions were lifted on 4th of July 2020. God, that did feels like a fucking long time ago. Ago, It doesn't feel like it, you know, 
No mammoths. Mammoths next week. Mammoth as a treat. As a treat next week. Uh, we will be back on the tomorrow with um, Elder Scrolls playing tomorrow. Aren't we? We're playing a little bit of Elder Scrolls tomorrow. Uh, Todd, how hard? How hard will Todd be? Uh, and where? Ah, it's Wednesday. Jesus Christ! It feels like fucking Monday today. Um, obviously, because it is kind of Monday. And then on. Friday? Friday. We're playing Jedi Fallen Order on Friday. About a seven hard. I don't know. I feel like you might be a bit... You might be a ten tomorrow. You know, I don't want to speak for him. Yeah. So Arena tomorrow. Jedi Fallen Order. Friday. And then next Monday, more Jedi Fallen Order. Next Tuesday, Siberia. Next Wednesday, Elder Scrolls. Next Friday, Jedi Fallen Order. You get the Jimmy Jam. You're picking up the Jimmy Jam. Why don't we do a little bit of a raid of Frass? I can see Frass is on. A bank holiday. A bank holiday raid. Oh, Frass is playing System Shock. Why isn't Frass playing, um... Why isn't Frass playing Hitman? Maybe Frass is not playing Hitman. This is, that's illegal in his full franchise playthrough. He's not playing one of the franchises. Right, lads. You have a wonderful time with Grand Frass. I will be back tomorrow here at 1pm BST. If you liked the stream today, go to the VOD channel. Go watch some VODs. <laughs> they're good, I swear. They're like this, but like, that happened yesterday. <laughs> now, thank you very much for being here, lads. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. A Tuesday, and I'll see you. I'll see you later. See you later, alligator! And everyone who is watching the VODs, thank you very much for watching the VODs. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> You have a good yeah, I we had a good one. I hope you had a good one. I'll see you later. See you in the see you in the next one. Bye!